need to, need to get the powder, powder in my face, powder, powder, powder. <laughs> um, hey, it's me, GV, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a live episode of uh, Let's 100% The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. We're currently live streaming this right now. Uh, as I've mentioned in the Let's Play, you know, I'm going to live stream at some point because we're going to have to grind. Usually in the Let's Plays, we did this with Skyrim 2. I have to grind out certain things because... They're just they're just a grind and you don't want to watch them, you know So this is kind of like an optional episode, but not really if, if don't click off of this video just yet because we're gonna complete You know what we did in the last episode We're gonna complete that quest now and then everything else that you're gonna see in this video is gonna be grinding uh, Some of the stuff um, so I'm going to not even talk to my chat who I love very very much But I'm not gonna talk to them because you know I'll get sidetracked so we're going to finish this quest, and then I will be talking to the chat. So after we're done with this main quest here, we're going to enter grinding mode. And then you can continue to watch or don't watch at your leisure. This is probably going to be a very long video, I would imagine, that I've uploaded to YouTube here. So, yeah, that's that's the goal here. So let's go ahead and return, shall we? And let's take a look at where we're at. I've informed the chat that they might get spoiled since I'm streaming this ahead of when the videos are being released, right? So... Let's take a look at our journal, shall we? There's Darvesh. It's live. It's his first ever time live. He's so excited. Look at him. Wow, what's he on? 18 bottles of scuba? Oh, man, he's excited. Flipping around like that. Oh, by the way, this is probably the first time a lot of you are seeing my face. So, hey, it's me, GV, literally in the flesh. All right, let's take a look at the quest that we're doing, shall we? The Helpless Army. Something has happened to the wellspring of the Oriel in Brelak. I need to proceed on my own to restore it. Uh, we've pretty much delved pretty deep in here. I've disabled most of the, the most of the notifications, by the way, but some are still persisting. So, Trulax, thank you for subscribing. But the follower sounds like when we stream Skyrim are not going to be activating every two seconds. I've changed that, so don't worry about it. Trulax, thank you for subscribing. Okay, so we're in Brolac, which is the home of the Orioles, and we need to uh, fix the Wellspring because when Golden Saints or Orioles die, they come back in the Wellspring. We need to fix it. So, that's what we're doing. Now let's take a look at our weapons and armor shot. Well, just our weapons. Uh, we've got these amber arrows. We've got shadow hunt. And then we've got the grand madness longsword. So I think we're pretty close to the end of this quest. I think we're pretty close to the wellspring. But I could be wrong. We have to go through this door. Brelak, font of rebirth. A font is, is a water-related word. So this could very well be, yes, look at that. We've got the green icon. So this is where we need to go. So let's head forward a little bit. I'm also going to turn my monitor just a little bit because I'm looking at it at a skewed angle. By the way, everybody, this is my new setup. Look at this. I've got everything except the GameCube now. And one of uh, my most awesome viewers on Twitch is sending me the GameCube as we speak. So my, my collection will be complete very soon. But it's not about me and it's not about my collection. It's about Let's 100% Oblivion, isn't it? So let's move forward a little bit, shall we? And we've got a Knight of Order. This guy doesn't, this guy doesn't even know that he's going to die. <laughs> this guy doesn't even die. It's gonna take two arrows, I know from experience. One. What was that in my butt? Two. Bye. Yes, it takes two arrows. Were I playing this on the difficulty that I usually play this on back in the day, he died one, but unfortunately I've got to play on a decent difficulty since we're playing this on YouTube and everybody will say, why are you such a loser? Why are you playing on the easiest difficulty? And I don't want people to say that because I've got a very fragile mind and any sort of criticism will just crumple me like a piece of paper. Okay. Let's hit that. This guy's going to die in one hit, though, because he's a priest of order. He's not nearly as hardy. I'm going to get him in a headshot, though. That was like a neck shot. Not as good, but pretty cool, nevertheless. Uh, by the way, I've never really talked about it, but if you'll notice, when we hit somebody with an arrow and sneak, it um, deals three times damage. When we hit them with a um, sword swing, it deals six times. And I think that's pretty good. I forget how they do it in Skyrim. I think it's the same, but I think that's pretty good because... Oh! I think that's pretty good because, um, yeah, you should be rewarded more if you're, you know, dealing damage uh, with melee as opposed to just firing arrows like a big old pussy like I'm doing right now. <laughs> what if it said your pussy skill increased? It wouldn't, though, because I've already got great pussy skill. Oh, I'm on a roll tonight. Maybe I should just live stream every episode. I'm pretty witty today, you know, pretty witty, which is ironic because I was telling the stream before I started recording that uh, I've got a huge headache right now, and I'm just plowing through it, but man, my head hurts bad. <laughs> I've located the wellspring of the Oriel. It's been covered in order crystals. I'll need to destroy them to return to restore the wellspring. Okay, and we know how to we know how to destroy crystals. We gotta hit the chimes. Uh, there's a guy 
guarding that chai. Maybe we could do this entirely in sneak. Probably not, but we'll see. There's one. I think we just... Well, I'm too fast for them to catch me, so sorry, guys. You could try. I'm just going to ring all the chimes, and you can't do anything about it. Hoppity, hoppity, hop, and boom, and excuse me. I mean, we'll kill them, don't worry. We'll kill them, but I want them to know that they can't stop me. That's I, I want them to know that. So that was four. Now, that should explode it. Hey, the well's restored. The wellspring of the Oriel. Again, if you guys don't know... The Oriel are synonymous with the Golden Saints. Uh, Dark Seducers, Mazkin, Oriel's, um, uh, Golden Saints. Yeah, same thing. So, the wellspring of the Oriel has been restored. I need to help Stada defeat the remnants of the forces of order. Which, again, man, this, this whole Shivering Isles DLC, you could tell, was just written by somebody that is like a level 100 virgin i mean no offense no offense uh, this is a mean thing to say anyways but i just i just laugh at all the different names that are in the shivering isles because it's it's so rpg heavy you know i i, I feel like the main elder scrolls base game um vanilla is not nearly as heavy with the rpg names but i could be wrong okay so it says help them out but realistically as i've said it's, it's too hard, man, because I'm just going to hit my allies. So, we'll just look at this. I mean, they're, they're fine. These ladies are fine. Hi, ladies. Excellent job. <laughs> it said help them. I didn't even do anything. The remaining forces of order have been defeated. I should speak to Stada, which is a terrible name. Now, let's the look. The wellspring is restored. Yeah. You have saved us. We are forever grateful, your grace. I know. Please, allow me to teach you this spell, so that you may summon our kind to you in times of need. Oh yeah, I forgot also, you get both, that's right. Also, accept this gift of armor. It is the least I can do to show thanks for your help. What about Phaedon? And for anybody not in the know, Phaedon is the Duke of Mania. Former Duke of Mania, who's gone over to the bad side, so we need to stop him too. What about Phaedon? No sign of him yet. We'll do our best to track him down and deliver him to Lord Sheogorath for a fitting punishment. Oh, I thought this was the, the same quest. must be brought to justice. I agree. What happens now? Our warriors will scour the halls of Breloch, removing any last elements of opposition. Then we will immediately return to our duties. Then I shall take my leave. Actually, the chat was saying I should do the Darth Vesh voice, so... Uh, I, I rarely do it, so it's hard to bring it up out of the recesses of my mind. But I do like how I made it Russian. I do like that because it's like a unique Khajiit voice. You know what I mean? It's not like, and by unique, I mean it's not anything like what a normal Khajiit voice is. Well, then I shall take my leave. <laughs> well, that's it. Okay, so you got it. Indeed. Lord Sheogorath will be anxious to hear of our victory, I am sure. Do we not? Speak, sister. Do we not deal with Thadon in this quest? I suppose not. Huh. Okay, I thought this quest was going to be a little bit longer. Oh, boy, we're over encumbered. Because they gave me their crappy... Oh my god, we're super over-encumbered. Holy crap. Alright, we need to drop some stuff. Let's see what we've got here. Golden Saint armor and helmet. Is that stuff unique? I mean... I will refer to the chat. Chat, if you know, th is this stuff unique? Uh, can you only get the armor and the helmet from this quest? Because I know you can get the shields from like just standard... You can get the shields and the weapons from standard... Um, Golden Saints and, and, and Dark Seducers. But can you can you only get this out of this quest? Does anybody know? Let me know in the chat, please, and thank you. I'm going to drop the shield. We need to get rid of a lot of... Oh, my gosh. I know we have... We have a weapon that's really heavy. I know that. Durable Ebony Claymore. Yeah, it's 56 pounds. We'll go ahead and drop that. Still need to get rid of 37 pounds. My God. I don't even know what we would have to get rid of that stuff. Why... <laughs> Why does this Golden Saint stuff weigh so much? Jeez Louise. What was the chat saying? Think it's unique, but not sure. Think so. Think so as well. It's unique. It is unique. You cannot loot the armor. So, it is unique. <sighs> Getting rid of stuff is the worst thing about a Let's Play ever, man. You just gotta... I don't... Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was loud. Okay. <laughs> Greetings, YouTube. Tis I. Teeters of the P, bringing a warm welcome from the GV Twitch family. Come on down for a good time. Come on down, exactly. Thanks for that $3 donation, Teeters. Te what did you call yourself? Teeters of the P. I like that. That's what I'm going to call you from now on. 
Well, gosh darn, guys. I don't know how to... I don't know what to get rid of. Um, does any of these alchemical ingredients weigh a lot? Do any of these alchemical ingredients weigh a lot? Not really. Well, these minotaur... Or these ogre teeth. That's 4 times 4, 8, 12. That's 12 pounds. Oh, what do we even drop? Like, everything... Ugh. All this stuff doesn't weigh anything. I'm gonna have to, like, literally drop... Why does that weigh 126 pounds? Even if it's unique, it's lame, drop lame stuff. Why the hell does that weigh 126 pounds? Um, you know what? We have a ring of, of light, don't we? Or a ring of feather, I should say. That might, that might do it. Uh, where was it? Hopefully I kept that ring. Necklace of personality, ring of desiccation, light, lordship. We're looking for... Oh, God, don't tell me I dropped it off. Feather 15. Jeez Louise. Hearts of Order. Ooh, how many... I don't... I mean, but I don't have too many. I don't think. Uh, where were those? Hearts... Oh, God, I... Oh, that's four... Okay. Yeah, I don't think I really need these. I've been looting them, but... Yeah, let's drop those. And then... I know it's gonna hurt. I know it's gonna hurt everybody, but we're gonna drop the Ogre Teeth. I know, I know, I know. We're gonna drop them, though. And then we've got a ton of... Uh, potions and things that we can get rid of as well. So let's drop those. Um, I'm not going to drop the skooma. <laughs> but I will drop... Okay, now let's go for alchemy. There's got to be other stuff. Draw wax. Okay, now we can just equip the ring and then we'll be good to go. Uh, what was that ring called? It was the... Ring of Lorch. No. Ring of... No. Talisman of Abatement. Oh my god! Oh. Dagger of the Dynamo? It's gonna be close. I love you, Dagger of the Dynamo. <sighs> Grand Madness Longsword? No, it's came with me this far. It's gotta stay. Yeah, Dagger of the Dynamo, goodbye. This is so sad, man. I hate this. Why? Why, why is it 126 pounds? That's so ridiculous. Alright, let's start rapidly dropping some of the stuff. Potion of Sorcery, goodbye. Scoom, I'm gonna drop three. Okay, we just barely made it. Okay. Jesus. Why? Why is this? Why is this Golden Saint armor 126 pounds? Holy crap. All right, we did it, nevertheless. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I was going to loot these guys, but, yeah, we're not going to do that now. Strong, your grace. Okay, I think, well, I, I thought we dealt with Sadon. Thadon in this quest, but I suppose not. Symbols of office. Now that I have secured the stronghold of the Golden Saints, I should speak to Shea Gorath about our next step. But we're not going to do that. We just need to exit this specific spot. Can't interact with the Wellspring, I don't think. No. So let's go ahead and exit. There's got to be... Got to be a shortcut, right? Where did we come in from? If we came in from this side, then there's definitely a shortcut. Uh, hello, ladies. Came in from this side, right? Where is... Your work is... Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and leave. There should, there should hopefully be, uh, yeah, uh, uh, an a, an easy exit this way. Please just skip the lame stuff. I, I, I know it's lame, but it's unique, man. I gotta hold on to it. I just do. Like, well, we can always find another dagger, the dynamo. Shoot, we found like two already, anyways. Like in separate containers or people, or basically. So yeah, we're going to. Um, no, we're going to hold on to it. It's ridiculous, though, man. Like, 126 pounds. I don't remember that. Is the Dark Seducer stuff that... Does the Dark Seducer stuff weigh that much? I, there's no way, right? Okay. Let's open up all these things. These were all the um, little shortcuts that we saw before, I think. And we should be good, uh, good to go. Oh, and there was, like, a... Well, I guess we're going to... Actually, if we go over here, can we see it? Because there was a, a wall of order... That I could have used a chime on, but I suppose not. So yeah, I think we'll just exit here, and then I think we'll call it for this. You know, we'll just we'll just go to grinding from now on. So keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen that are watching this on YouTube. Uh, the people on Twitch are stuck here forever watching the grinding because that's all that I'm streaming tonight. But 
Yeah, okay, so we're going to hold off on the main quest now. We've got symbols of, of office, but just wanted to finish that quest. Um, if you guys are watching on YouTube, you know, wanted to get the, the quest content out of the way early. Now, moving forward, like I said, we're going to be grinding all night. So we're going to be doing Museum of Oddity stuff. We're going to be doing Taxonomy of Obsession stuff. Um, and there's two more that I'm forgetting at the moment. Hey, Boofy! Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to Sub Club. Uh, there's about four, um, oh, 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 the Hill of Suicides, yeah, so, Hill of Suicides, Museum of Oddities, Toe of the Unrestful, and, I'm forgetting the other one now, but you, you know, there's four, oh, Taxonomy of Obsession, so we're gonna be doing that for the rest of this YouTube video that you're gonna be watching, so keep in mind, um, I'm gonna be talking to my chat a lot, because my particular Twitch stream is very chat heavy, so, if you don't wanna watch this, you know, just keep in mind that moving forward, it's gonna be very you know, just grindy and chat heavy and that sort of stuff. Cause I know people hated that the last time I uploaded a video like this onto YouTube for the Skyrim Let's Play. So keep that in mind. But if you're clicking off here, thanks for watching and we'll pick up on the actual story content in the next episode. So adios. Bye. Okay. Now let's get back to normal. Let's get back to normal stream stuff. Although I do, I, I do got to keep in mind that this will be going on YouTube, so I don't want to start launching into a thing against Trump and everything like that, or anything, uh, anything super controversial. I'm fine with talking about that shit here on Twitch, but yeah, not on, not while we're up uh, loading stuff to YouTube. Okay, so let's go ahead and save the game. Uh, give me one second. Let's save the game here. Uh, usually what I do is I delete the last one, which is this. And then I make a new save so that I've always got three rotating saves, which I think is pretty smart. And now we got some subscribers, so let's get them some caps. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing. Let's go down here real quick. Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? We got Trulax21. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the sub club. I appreciate that. You're very nice. Oh, are you a brand new per? No, I spelled your name wrong. Never mind. I was going to say, I remember your your name. I've noticed you before. Yeah. Uh, here's a thousand caps. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the sub club. Uh, we have a $3 donation from Teeters. Thank you, Teeter, uh, or Teeters of the P. Which, seriously, I'm going to call you that from now on, moving forward. And we have Boofy, which is a funny name. I like that name. Oh, you are brand new. So, Oh, wait, no. There's three O's. B-O-O-O-F-I. Oh, there you are. You are pretty new, though. I'm going to give you a thousand caps, too. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, welcome, guys. And anybody that's uh, followed, too, thank you guys for following. Okay. All right. Let's let's get the chat back in order, and then we will um, do a bunch of stuff for Oblivion. First thing that we got to do, though, is I do need to travel to um, Cyrodiil and, and offload a lot of this shit, because as you guys can... Uh-oh. Wait. Can I travel to Cyrodiil right now? Probably. Shit. Do I need to, like, manually travel there? It wouldn't just lock me out until I'm done, right? Oh, God, I hope not. You'd kiss a dog? Uh, yeah, I just simultaneously kissed everybody in this chat, as well as on YouTube, too, so... Whatever you guys are, you know, whether you're male, female, both, hermaphrodite, dog, cat, unicorn... I kissed all of you guys. One big, wet kiss to everybody. I really hope that I can travel back to Cyrodiil right now. Oh, God. Oh, if you guys can't subscribe, don't worry about it. As long as you're here watching and enjoying... I just love you anyways, and that, you know, just kidding. If you don't give me money, that kiss is rescinded. Um, that kiss is basically only to people that, is, that have ever given me money. Thanks for not playing Song Quest during this, because Oblivion's OST is the best of the best. And honestly, even if you do an LP for every Oblivion character with random assortment of quests, I would watch every one. That's how much I love this game and you. Frankie, you're goddamn seriously too nice. You're one of the nicest people. I... The thing is, you have to take it with an air of anonymity, because it is the internet, but... Again, like, I know most of you guys in the chat so well that I will just say that, yeah, you're one of the nicest people that I've ever known in real life. And that's a real compliment, by the way, because seriously, yeah, I mean, we've never met in person, but I just know, you know what I mean? Guys, can I not actually... Can I not actually go back to Cyrodiil? Put chat on screen to make it less confusing for the YouTube viewers, but the chat would have to behave. Uh, yeah, I know that's an option, but, I mean, we've, we only do this, like, once every like maybe twice a year so i don't know I, I yeah i didn't set it up beforehand oh yeah okay I, I see the door we should be able to leave okay i was gonna say oh god are we stuck here and i can't put my stuff back in my house that would be awful with a capital a Whew. okay 
Did you kiss Leo too? Uh, I'm pretty sure my sister and her dog, for that matter, have never ever seen my stream. So, uh, no kiss for Leo. I'm, I'm afraid. How are you? Um, Apache helicopters are included. That kiss. Oh, hi there. Uh, that kiss does, uh, yeah, that kiss does extend to Apache helicopters, so do not worry. If you are one of those, it extends to you as well. Uh, should we start off with Deep Scorn? I suppose so. Yeah, let's head back to Deep Scorn. Hey, see you later, gamer girl. Uh, Mixus is the mage, so come to Pokemaster. Thank you guys for following, you guys and you gals. Uh, I need to remember to pick up that Nurn Root, too. If I forget, remind me, guys, because, yeah, I need to remember to pick up that Nurn Root uh, in Deep Scorn Hollow. Do die to the Knights of the Order already? That's not on the agenda for tonight, Voices, I'm afraid. If, if you're expecting that, you're going to be severely disappointed. Where's Dog Ears when you need her? She's a slut for this game. <laughs> I literally was thinking that before I started streaming. I was like, Dog Ears always comes into this stream and says she's a slut for Oblivion whenever I'm playing Ob Oblivion. And I was like, well, t yeah, I know. I was, I was thinking the same exact thing. <laughs> Sexually identify as a skooma addicted Khajiit. So, just a normal Khajiit, then? Okay. Nurn Root grabbed. Um, I have to remember where everything is. So, these are all the weapons. So, what do we have here? Anything that needs dropping off? Staff of Vulnerability. Oh, yeah, we picked that up. Can anybody in the chat tell me if the Staff of Vulnerability is unique or not? Because I picked it up in a recent episode, and I was like, look at this thing. It's called the Staff of Vulnerability. And it gives you, uh, you know, it gives whoever your target is weakness to everything. This seems to me, it's one of those weird oblivion, like, artifact type things that are unique, but you have to find them randomly. Does anybody know if, if this thing is actually unique? Frake Train says it is unique. Hey, what's up, Caligula? Oh, God, my thumbs are awful, too, by the way. I got work in seven hours, but I pick to stay for the GV stream. I like it better than sleep. Excellent. As you should. As you should. What if I identify as a Cheeto Cat Furry? Uh, you're all good, too. Like I said, it, I don't discriminate at all. It is. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. I, I, I knew it. All right, so we're going to put the Staff of Vulnerability in here. Shadow Hunt, we want to keep. Grand Madness Longsword. I love this thing, man. This thing's real good, although we're out of charges for it. Um, Weighs a lot, though. We need, like, a good... I guess I should just have, a, you know, I should just have Dawn Fang, Dust Fang, because honestly, yeah, let's sell this, and let's pick back up Dawn Fang slash Dust Fang as a, as a backup. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's do that now. I'm going to take this back. Okay, and what is this? This is all the weird, okay, this is all the weird stuff. We could also get the calipers and everything and turn them in. Oh, man, I've got so much shit in my inventory. Uh, we don't have too many calipers, though. All right, let's just drop everything. Well, I can do all this stuff, most of this stuff off camera. So let's put all of our alchemical ingredients inside of here. Um, oh my god, we have so much. Nerd root included. And then what else was this? Potions, potions and ingredients. Okay, I don't think I have any potions or anything like that that are unique. Uh, the exploration thing. No, I think that's all good. All right, let me... Uh, I can't even... Oh, my God. Ah, being over-encumbered is the worst feeling ever. Where's the mask when I need it? I'm not even going to specify which mask for those that don't know. All right, we'll store that in there for now. I think this is my jewelry thing, right? Oh, no, I don't... I put all the jewelry in here. Okay. Please tell me I have some stuff to get rid of. We're going to put the... Am oh, I can't write. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Can't put the calming pants either. Okay, here we go. Get out of my inventory. Get out. Get out. Ring of Lordship. There was a reason I didn't wear this. Oh, Chameleon. Yeah, Chameleon's really bad for Let's Plays. Sneak blue suede shoes are not unique. I need to get rid of that too. And that's it, really. It was just that awful, awful... <laughs> yeah, that's all. It was the awful... Uh... Yeah, okay. We can put everything else later. Um, now, let's go back to the weapons. I need to take Dust Fang out. And I think that was about it. I think we're good, right? Yeah, everything else, I mean, we're, we're pretty much good. We do need to go, like, sell a lot of this stuff, but... I think we're good for the most part. 
Got a lot of random alchemical ingredients that I really need to get rid of. Got a lot of books and stuff, but none of this, none of this stuff really weighs anything. A lot of this stuff, too. Got some calipers. Yeah, I think we're good for the rest of this grinding episode. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, do this for, like, you know, forever. This stuff takes forever, so I'll do this off camera, basically, when I can. Shouldn't use the fangs because that's what you used in the last Oblivion Let's Play. You should go for something different. Well, no, the reason I'm choosing the Dawn Fang and Dust Fang is because um, it's I don't need to recharge it. You know, it's always going to nourish itself, which makes it really good for the Let's Play. I Yeah, I am going for something different this Let's Play. Get out of here, crab! And Goyle. Been watching a lot of Harry Potter, by the way. <laughs> um... Today, she saw me picking my thumb in class when she was showing me a video, and she walked over and sort of softly grabbed my hand and whispered <laughs> for me to stop that. I wish somebody... Actually, I was just about to say, I wish somebody could do that for me, and Mary actually does do that for me, but it doesn't stop me. I still rip my thumbs to shred, and it's all, it shreds, and it's awful, and I feel like a mutant freak, but I do it, and it feels so good. I cannot describe to you all in the chat how good it feels to just go like this and pick my thumbs to nothing. It's, it's macabre, to say the least, but it feels... Good. Okay, let's um, let's do all the pirate stuff and everything real quick. We need to make some money, so we might as well do this while we're here. And for those of you that don't know, I guess I'll explain it too. Uh, yeah, for those of you that basically watch the streams, um, by the way, for those of you in the chat, I, I, this is probably going to be a less chat interactive stream than usual, even though I said I would talk to you guys a lot, because remember, this is going up on YouTube, and even though I said if you're continuing to watch on YouTube, you know, be prepared for a pretty boring video, because my streams are pretty chat heavy. I do want to make it kind of interesting for them, eh, you know, it's Oblivion too. it's my livelihood, it's what I do on YouTube, so... You know, just keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen of the chat. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to keep things moving along, okay? On Fridays, it's going to go back to normal. We'll play something. I'm f I'm really excited for Friday's stream. It's going to be excellent. All right, hello. Can I you can go back out. Thank you very much. Your crew will turn in one. No! Oh! Sometimes I hate when I just rapidly scream out like that because I'm like, are you doing the Markiplier? Th not that Markiplier is bad. In fact, in, in terms of like very popular youtubers um that are kind of known for the the let's plays and stuff where they very, you know kind of overreact or whatever uh, i do like markiplier i think he's he's a good guy and i think that um he deserves all the the fame that has come to him but i always do kind of think like am i ew, am i coming off as like just overreact where the fuck am i how do i get out of here just get me just get me up just get me up i want to go up Forget where we have to. I think it's like over here. There's a tunnel, maybe. Oh my god, I never fall down here. How do I get up? Over here? Huh! Crew! <laughs> Save me! Save your captain! I need saving. I've fallen and I can't get up, literally. It's gotta be that way that I. Oh my god, why can't I remember where to go? Okay, let's just go through here. It's so satisfying. I like when I get a big piece of skin loose and I can pull it off. It's amazing. <laughs> Man, the people watching on YouTube probably are like, what in the fuck are they talking about <sighs> dude again the gif where it's just like i'm retarded okay we found it um i'm very happy to make your yeah while i'm trying to go over to the little station here for those of you that don't know there's actually a disease and i think by the way caligula i think we both have it uh i don't know if i've mentioned it to you but i have looked this up and there's a disease where you have an, not a disease but like a mental thing where you're infatuated with ripping off pieces of skin off of your body uh, I love it too. I love ripping off pieces of skin on my lips. I love ripping off pieces of skin on my thumbs. Um, I love picking skin. Anything like that. I love it, love it, love it. Um, it's awful. It's... Oh, we do have a lot of other stuff here that we could actually... This thing's good. Should I switch the bow out for this? Frostworm bow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, screw you. Screw you, Shadow Hunt. You're out of here. You're, 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 <laughs> you're, on the, you're on the sidelines for now. Screw you. Um, I need to get the money from this. That's what I'm doing here. We got to move all this stuff over to the the other the new the new digs later on. But there should be a thousand. Should I take the calipers too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take all those calipers. Give me that gold. I don't think we need anything else, do we? Is it? Oh shit! I always forget this, guys. Is it calipers and tongs that I can turn into tove, or is it just calipers? I always forget this. Does anybody know? 
tell YouTube to stop being scrubs and join the Twitch streams? I have. I have. And, like, so many people, you know, they're like, oh, I never checked it out. But now that I did, I love it. Yeah, it's fun. Human interaction's fun. It's both. Why do I always forget that? Okay, yeah, we'll take these then. I For some reason, like, my brain just always thinks it's just calipers. I don't know why. Okay, did I grip? I got the... Yes. Okay, we're good. Yeah, eventually I will need to move all that stuff back over. Um... Yeah, no shit, I'm a sneaking looking sword. You're literally a pirate, like, trainer. <laughs> that guy literally trains me in, in lockpicking, and he's telling me I'm a sneaky looking sword. What the hell? All right. Now, let's go to the arena and fight a match real quick. Get some extra gold. And I think we'll sell stuff, and then we'll we'll grind. Hopefully you, go, hopefully you guys don't find this too too boring um I'm, I'm doing it just because like we do need to get lots of gold throughout the course of the let's play and I'm trying to do it pretty fast so you know hopefully it's all good all right what up well, well. ready for a match three oh shit we're up to three minotaur lords okay you've got it i'll have the three minute all right let's do it yeah before it was like two landros and a minotaur now we're up to three minotaur lords this actually might be pretty tough What's my best weapon? Did I pick something better? I got the Frostworm bow. Let's go ahead and save the game. This might be... Yeah, this might be the end of Darvesh. Whew. We'll have to see. I chew the skin off my lips constantly as well. Sometimes I do it too much, though, and it feels really itchy and stingy, but it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you put, like, it's good and then dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sure lots of people like doing that as far as the skin goes uh, on the lips because lips get chapped and they, they want it off. You know what I mean? Um, but I love it. I love that. And it, it's called something. It starts with a D. It's like Demophoba or something like that when you like like ripping skin off of yourself. I have it and it's weird. I know. It's not crazy. It, it doesn't really affect my life in all honesty. But it's a part of me. All right, fuckers. Let's do this. Oh, oh, these, what the hell? These guys got glass warhammer? Oh, <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, this is more difficult than I would have thought. So we're going to have to use some soul gems on this sword here. Or just dust fang and dawn fang, honestly. Is this charged? Yeah, let's switch over to this. Now, if I could, like, if I could get them one by one, that, you going to give them glass warhammers? You kidding me? Huh! Okay, let's go for this one first. Okay, one down. Alright, boys. Ow! Stop perma-stunning me. Okay. Can't block that, I don't think. I'm not even going to try blocking that. Okay. Forget what our title was. Oh, just literally walked into fire. Forget what our title was in the arena. I think it's... I think it's bow-related, if I don't... If I remember right. Um, no. I've learned to not take alchemical ingredients. Uh, what was my... Does anybody know in the chat what my title was for the Imperial City Arena? Um, what was it? It was like something... It was like the Black Arrow or something, I think? Okay, let's go get our money. I remember last time it was like real disappointing, wasn't it? Great show. Oh no, no, that's right. The arena is pretty good. Yeah, two thousand gold almost. It's pretty nice. Not to chrono date this video too much, but what are you gonna do now that Trump won the election? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, we are not talking about Trump on this video. No way, Jose. I see what you're saying now, though. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna try to hang in there and hope that he does. Hope that he does what's best for the country. The Crimson Blade. Oh. Man, you guys have such good memories. For Museum of Oddities, go to the Rotten Den Sanctum, and there's a door near a bunch of coffins. Go outside the door and save. Just keep going going in the door and checking the coffins. It made the random oddities so much easier. Yeah, tell me that uh, when we start doing that in a second, because I will actually need to know a good grinding method for that. Um, for now, there's one last thing we want to do in Cyrodiil. Uh, Brobble is what we're looking for. There we are. Let's head over there. Yeah, thank you guys. Crimson Blade. Why did we choose the Crimson Blade? I was going for Marksman early, wasn't I? Was I not? Okay, this is kind of like a waste of time, but I'm going to do it anyways because it's a, psych a secular thing. Greetings, 
Come close and I will share with you the information I have garnered. Where someone has prayed to the night. Our alumni, Nefesi, Douglas Marcellet, 122, Rad Mad BMXer, Mixius. Or he said Mixius, but everybody else, thank you guys for following. Welcome to the stream. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, if somebody could somebody could take what Sir H. Morris said and repost it a little bit later, that'd be excellent. You ran Sufferthor in the whole... Oh, that makes sense. Because it was a Crimson Blade. That's right. That's right. I remember now. Okay. Let's go get, like, 500 gold <laughs> from being literally... I... This is why, like, I feel like in this day and age, this type of imbalance would never happen because there's, like, the internet is so prevalent now that they could easily, Bethesda is so big now that they, they would know that this is silly to have, to, to be able to go to the arena and get, like, 2,000 gold and then to come over to uh, the Dark Brotherhood and get, like, how much gold do you think it's going to be, guys? How much gold? I, I'm going to guess, like, 420. So, the Night Mother has, I would... This is no t What the f Dark Brotherhood, man, we're <laughs> Man, we are in some dark times. Every I every time I think I just forget, but it's always like 200 gold. It's so awful. The heck? Okay. Was there anything else I needed to do? I don't think so. I think we're good for now. Blade of Woe. Okay, so I'm going to place this here and then Dawn Fang for now. Until we get like a better, we're gonna need to sell this too. Yeah, let's wait. Yeah, let's make one last quick stop. Um, who's who's our best? Okay, Chad, who's our best? Uh, who's our best fence at the moment? Does anybody know? I forget who it was, but you guys have way better memory than I do. By the way, Alf always says that he has a terrible memory. Meanwhile, he's coming up with all the shit that I could never remember. Um, I who is it? Yeah, who, who knows what the best fence is right now, so we can just, like, sell all this crap real quick. And just have a nice, clean inventory. Also, she... We talked a lot over email about the Sphinx and about conjecture-based theories and how problematic... Oh, repost that, Caligula. I did not see it, and I can't, like... if Alt-tabbing this game is awful. The lady in the Bravil bar? Um, I'm asking who's our best fence at the moment. Who can we go to at the moment to sell, like, most of our crap to? The guy in the Imperial City. That's later on, isn't it? Dermatillomania, yeah. But I only pick at my lips and arms, which is so satisfying, but it freaks the hell out of people when I rip the skin off my arms and lips in my skull. Yeah, I do lips and I do the sides of my thumbs. For whatever reason. I'm talking about now, like, fence. Like, who do I go to to sell all my stolen goods? Master magic? Eh. I don't know. Lay the Bravo bar. Ah, screw it. We'll just go to the, we'll just go to the Imperial City Market District for now. Yeah, the guy in the do I have access to the guy in the Imperial City? I don't think so yet. The weird the guy with the stupid looking hat. Talk a lot over email. Orin from Anvil. Ah, that's right. Okay, yeah, let's head yeah, let's go to him. I remember right. We've got that guy. We need to go to Castle Anvil. And head to the smithy. We talk a lot over email about the Sphinx and about conjecture-based theories and how problematic they are. She got super heated about it. It was amazing. And just, ugh, I love having passionate, intelligent conversation. It pokes out all my brain buttons, and I love her. Conjecture. Conjecture-based theories and how problematic they are. Now that. Now that is the thing that I just feel like you have to have a, gl a wine glass ready to sniff your own farts for. But I'm trying to think about, like, what conjecture based theory and how problematic they are what does that even mean so conjecture is like guessing based on it's just a conjecture just a guess so guess based theories so hey what up i see you work yeah no shit i work for the gray fox do you remember we come on dude Shh, keep it down this isn't exactly legal well i know it's not legal but you know okay let's haggle a little bit boop conjecture based theories like give me an example of a conjecture based theory uh, i'm curious just so I could have a better understanding, basically. Okay, let's sell everything. Uh, Grand Madness Longsword. Goodbye. You've served me very well. Don't but I try to cheat me, you miss. All right. You don't have to call me names, buddy. There we go. Okay, we got a lot of stuff, man. Base Ring of Retribution. Yep. Sure, why not? I'm. 
Gonna sure rapid fire do this. Cruelty's heart, no thanks. It back to the original owner. Gauntlets of life seeing. Get that out of here. That's a sure. Oh my god, we're gonna make so much gold. You've sure why not? Grand ring of light armor. No thank you. You've made a. Got to make sure I don't sell anything that's unique. That's more than I'd usually. Mithril pay. gauntlets. Yeah. Necklace of personality. Don't need. Resist cold pants. Need that. Ring of light. No thank you. Steel skin. No thank you. Sure, why not? Sneak I blue suede shoes. No. Don't know why I thought that was. Expert retort. Okay. That's Sell a that. fair deal. Uh, and I think we'll just hold all the other stuff because, we'll again, like this, is, this takes far too long to go through everything. But I think that's just about it. We got the calipers that we can send. Let's get rid of all the jewels. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? That's a good... Sorry to keep cutting you sure, off, buddy. Why not? I might even be able... <laughs> I, just, I just don't care about what that you're saying. I mean, it's, you know, nothing personal. But you're really not adding anything to the conversation, in all honesty. Okay. All the gold nuggets. Oh, it feels so good to get all this crap out of my inventory. Okay. I think we are good. Remember, act casual. Like Dude, I just literally sold you like it sold you like eight billion things. I mean, and <laughs> I think acting casual is not really going to do anything at the moment. At the moment of the meantime, okay. Let's exit here. Now, we're finally going to go back to the Shivering Isles after one last stop. And I need to really quick alt-tab for one second. Please. Oh, shit. I should have saved. Because I'm, like, scrolled way down on my notifications. Okay. We're good now. Uh, hold on. Just My screen goes black when I go back to Oblivion. All right. Let's travel to the Imperial City Market District real quick. This is our last stop. Needs to be done. Evil Land 96 Thank you for following. The point was that people often base these huge extraordinary theories on very little evidence that may not even be valid and that is problematic not only because it's poorly supported but because people are too stupid to realize the difference between conjecture theories and theories with a wealth of support supportive evidence. Okay, well I'm about to get really like I'm about to get like really snotty right now, so just everybody prepare for that. But yeah, arguments should I even... Yeah, fuck it. Whatever. Again, why am I second-guessing myself? Just talk. Just talk. Arguments are really bad to have if it's if it's with somebody stupid, man. It's... Oh, God. I mean... Yeah. There's no point. You stand nothing to gain from arguing with somebody that at least doesn't have some mental acumen to be able to argue and, it's like, to be pleasure. able to present, you know, decent points and argue decent points. For the right price. Um... Oh my god. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name any names, but I've known people in real life that I've had lots of arguments with, and it's just awful because you try you try to have a good intelligent argument with them or not even argument, argument's the wrong word, because just like you, Caligula, I like yeah, I like discussion and talking. Again, I know I'm gonna sound like such an elitist snob here, so I know. Um, okay, before I continue my point here, I want to figure out what we're going to start grinding. Like I said, there's four things to do. We could go Hill of Suicides and just start. I think that's good. Uh, what do you guys in the chat? Remember, if I forget, remind me to talk about this because I want to finish this point. But do you guys want Hill of Suicides or do you want Museum of Oddities? Both of which have fixed locations where we can find things. So Hill of Suicides, Museum of Oddities, you can just put in like oddities or suicides in the chat. Let me know what you'd rather see at the moment. And we'll start with whatever one that is. It's definitely not Mary. No, that's the reason Mary and I are together is because we can actually talk and have intelligent conversations. Otherwise, it would be awful. <laughs> oh, Caligula, you have no idea. Um, I was sympathizing with you literally last stream. And uh, yeah, for a very, very obvious reason. Hill, 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 Museum, Oddities, Hill, Suicides, Museum, Hill. Everybody's saying suicide. Or er, yeah, everybody's saying Hill of Suicide. So that's what we'll start off with. Thank you, by the way, for being patient, if, especially if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, we just, you know, every now and then with, with Elder Scrolls, we need to do some housekeeping or else my inventory just gets bogged down to shit. Okay, we'll start off with the Hill of Suicides. So, wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. 
Um, yeah, if you don't know what this is, the Hill of Suicides is an unmarked quest. We've already been to it. There's ghosts on the Hill of Suicides. You basically need to find everybody's, like, uh, um, if I remember right, their skulls, and then put them back. And that's pretty much it. And it's an unmarked quest, but we're still going to do it. So, discover the Hill of Suicides. Did it. Locate Lorenz. We're just going to go through these, like, in order. Locate Lorenz Bog Trotter Skull in Naughty Bramble. And this is kind of cheating because you're supposed to kind of like figure out where these things are but fuck yeah i'm not you know i don't got time to go like look all throughout the shivering isles and try to actually find these things so yeah okay lorenz bog trotter skull is in the lost crypts of naughty bramble i'm not actually gonna locate the we are gonna look for it but i, I need to know at least the location so lost crypts of naughty bramble Okay, I think I'm pretty sure we've already activated Naughty Bramble, right? So it should be a simple matter of heading over there. Yeah, 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 because I was making the whole joke like, Haha, it's a Naughty Bramble. Haha, <laughs> what it do? Is <laughs> Okay, so as we're heading out of here... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've known people. I've known people in real life that are... <sighs> oh, God. Yeah, exactly what you're talking about. And this is the thing with conspiracy theories, too. You know, like a lot of people have these conspiracy theories okay for instance perfect example um i don't watch a lot of the joe rogan podcast but hey buddy you doing good let me give you a little pat real quick pat 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 okay keep it up um yeah i don't watch a lot of the the joe rogan podcast but uh his most viewed podcast ever is the one with alex jones on it and this guy that he has on, Eddie Bravo, talks to Alex Jones. The whole... Or, no, no, no. That, okay, this is a different episode, actually, is what I'm thinking of. This guy, Eddie Bravo, just keeps talking about... Wow, I got a first try. Look at that shit. Keeps talking about... Oh, my God. The flat earth theory. And he just keeps saying, like... But you can't prove it's... You can't prove it's not a thing. You can't prove it's not a thing. And that's his whole point. And he doesn't even have any proof or anything. The whole entire podcast is just, like... But you can't prove, you can't, oh, that was weird, changed right at the last moment, okay, we're looking for the lost crypts in this place, by the way, I didn't pick up these bones already, did I, need to make sure before we just head in here and go on a wild goose chase, yeah, okay, oh, Okay, one last stop. One last stop. It's really quick. It's really quick. It's really quick. I just need to... I'm going to unload all these tongs and calipers while I finish talking about this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, your whole point about... Like, oh, God. Like, people that just don't have any real arguments. They just argue for the sake of arguing. It's the most, like, mentally frustrating thing ever. And, again, I know I sound like an elitist snob, but it's true, man. It's just... It's, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. When you argue with people that just, like, don't know what they're talking about... Or, to be quite honest, are just dumb. Not saying that I'm, like, the smartest man in the world or anything. Not saying that. I'm just saying there are people that are just flat out dumb. And when you try to argue with them, like that guy just saying, like, Oh, but you, you can't prove it. You can't prove the earth is flat. Or the earth is round. You can't prove it. It's like, ah! And I've known somebody specifically that we've argued so much and... God's blessings, your grace. Oh, God, it's, like, mentally exhausting, man. It's just, like, dude, you're not presenting any real counterpoints. You're just saying, like, uh, no, I don't believe it, or blah, blah, blah. Whew! It's so awful, guys. It's, don't, don't be that person, please. Where is this fucking guy? I know it's near the bookstore, isn't it? There you are. My boat is... Yeah, whatever. Here. I see you found some. Frankly. Excellent. Here's your money. 105 gold, but the real reward is we've gotten rid of a ton of that stuff. None. I see you found some. Frankly, I could use all. Excellent. Here's your money. Oh, right. This quest is weird because you have to keep, like, talking to him over and over again. None. 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 Okay. So I think we're good with that. Now, finally, we can be on our way. I needed to get rid of that crap because it's just going to weigh us down, man. We could launch all the flat earthers into space with no return trajectory. Then they'll see the earth is round. Uh, yeah, I mean, in all honesty, like I said, I didn't want to get, like, uh, I didn't. 
there's a mentality that I have. It's like when I'm uploading stuff to YouTube, it's like if I remain less, and this is a mentality a lot of people have on YouTube, if I remain less controversial and less opinionated, I will exceed, I will succeed more because you appeal to more people. Why do I, why do I do that? I mean, I didn't used to be like that. And I think I, I, I have gained more success, but I don't know if it's because of that, you know? I should just be more opinionated. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think, like, moving forward, I'm just gonna, like, go back to how I used to be and be more opinionated. But I can do it with an air of... professionalism still. I, I don't have to be, like, insulting, you know, kind of like how I was before. I'm just like, if you don't believe this, then fuck you. But I'm also gonna go against exactly what I just said, because if you're a flat earther, man, you need a, you need a reality check. Oh, God, you are so wrong. So wrong. So, so, so wrong. And while we're at it, if you don't believe in gay marriage, you're so wrong, too. Holy shit, you're gonna get left... I've said this before, you guys, you know, in the chat, you know my stance, but... Yeah, if you guys are against gay marriage, oh boy, time's just gonna pass you by, and, like, people are gonna look back on you. I've said this exact thing many times, by the way. But people are just gonna look at you and be like, what were they thinking? You know, just kinda like, people fought that fought against civil rights. It's like, what, what were they... What was going through their heads? Anyways, if you're a flat earther, man... Whew! I don't know, dude. I don't know if there's any hope. I don't know if there's any hope at all. You know, nothing against you personally, just... Huh. You know, open your eyes. Open your eyes. <laughs> hey, I said I'm not going to name names, okay? But for those of you that know me, I mean, it's pretty, pretty easy to know who it is. No, that's an exact reason that Mary and I are together is because... <gasps> very even when it comes to intelligence so we can actually talk about things and and a lot of the time i'm way more opinionated than she is whereas she is very uh uh grounded with her with her beliefs and, and stuff like that whereas i'm like if i have an opinion i'm like i'm gonna defend that opinion to my death and if i really think it's real i'm gonna be very adamant but she's like more grounded she just thinks well you know what's what's more what's more practical what's more realistic right so yeah that's 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 a, a good part of our relationship. <laughs> Eddie used the fake moon videos as evidence of NASA's, NASA's lies and mis misconceptions. It's just baffling, dude. And um, especially Alpha Wolf. Somebody like Alpha Wolf X Omega, right? I just think of people that are based in science. It's like, listen to people like that. It's like, oh my god. It must be just awful. It must be just like, holy crap. Um, both of these lead to the hatchery. So I think we're good to go. We're going to just slice everybody up with this, man. We're going to increase our blade quite a lot. Quite a lot. I'm not naming names, buddy. Not naming names. Remember when those feminists attacked you because of one of the Let's Play Skyrim? Because of one of Let's 100% Skyrim and you were like, I did nothing wrong. I'm not apologizing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. I mean, like, I do stuff like that sometimes. Like I said, I did more of that stuff in the past with, um, for instance, killing Parthenax. Oh, man. What a bad... Oh, man. Don't ever... Uh... You guys can tell that it's stuck with me because I always bring this up. Don't ever kill Parthenax in a Skyrim Let's Play. Holy shit. It's the worst thing that you could ever do. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I doubled down on that shit because get over it. Oh, my God. Get over it. I killed a... That was ridiculous. I don't give a fuck. I'm a 25-year-old man. I I'm not going to, like, sit down and apologize for fucking... Literally choosing an option in a video game. Oh my god. God, people. And I usually, by the way, keep in mind, I usually uh, am on Parthenax's side, you know? That was... I know that's not what you were talking about, by the way. Um, you were talking about... Yeah, I said something. Uh, I don't know what I said. Um, and, and the reason I didn't apologize for that either is because... I am totally on the side of women equality and totally... Holy shit, you need to die. Wow. My god. I am totally, undoubtedly on the side of, like, equal rights for women and also equal rights for, for homosexual people. Um, yeah, so just for somebody, like, to call me out... I, I forget what I said, but, like, to come call me out and be like, I can't believe you would have that opinion. I am not watching you anymore. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, guys, I just want to apologize. I think how I did it was like, I just want to apologize for what I said. I'm like, just kidding. I'm not fucking apologizing. Because, seriously, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad what I did say. Or the next did deserve it. Yeah. No, actually, he didn't. Like, realistically looking at it, he didn't. 
But I thought I had a pretty good reason for Adronaut killing him. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so... No, I don't regret that at all. That That's like, that's like the most disliked video I think I've ever made. <laughs> Which is just silly. And I remember like I, I, I doubled down on that too. And I think I did the same exact thing. I was like, oh, here we go. The Lost Crypt. Okay, this is what we want. Did the same thing. I doubled down and... Um, I, I did the same thing. I was, like, pretending, like, oh, guys, yeah, I just want to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have killed Parthenax, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, just kidding. No, I'm not sorry at all. I wanted to kill Parthenax, and I think it was the right decision. And, I, you know, some people were like, ah -ha, that's funny, ha, 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 whatever. And then other people were just like, wow, how could you insult your viewers like that to just... <sighs> the only reason I even bring it up is because I think it's funny, honestly. I, I think it's funny, and it's nothing against my viewers, like... I think it's funny that people got so butthurt over that. It's like, it's it's funny. It's funny to me. And I could yeah. pretend to be, like, a better professional YouTuber and be like, Oh, I get why people were angry. Maybe I should make a press statement about it. It's silliness. It's silliness. It's just pure silliness. Hey, what's happening? Uh, what's happening, Zubird? We are grinding out some Oblivion quests. Right now, we're trying to find the bones of some guy for the Hill of Suicides. Um... What do I need to do? I need to repair something or something. What was I... I was going to do something. I forget what, though. I don't know. We'll continue on. Slicing and dicing. Slaughters me. There's this guy at work that I work with sometimes now that doesn't think the atomic model is real. <laughs> oh, God. Non-falsifiable theories aren't theories at all. If you can't prove it's not true, then there isn't a point to having the argument... <laughs> <laughs> and in Kay's words, a lack of evidence is not an excuse to make up wild ideas. You see where we're going to get married? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with the marriage. Oh, is this it? When's the wedding going to be, Caligula? I don't think... I like Parthenax. In all seriousness, I like Parthenax. Um, yeah, I literally just did it because I thought it was the right decision. I have an amazing idea for an April Fool's video. Make an apology video. There's like dogs like dying outside. For killing Parthenax, then just turn it into a massive meme. No, I'm done with it. It's it 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 you know it it played its court. We're like looking for a skeleton, and I'm not sure if it's on this. I swear to God. I think it like what we're looking for actually looks like this little. Um, oh, it might be this one actually. Yeah, we're looking for something like this, but it's a unique skull basically. Oh. Do the hell? Can't even loot this bot. Are you alive, sis? Why can't I loot this? Well, that's odd. I just wish there was equality for single moms with autistic children. Equality for everybody is what I say. And I know that's the that's the best way to think about things. I know it's not like... It's like, everybody, can you take a step back and applaud me, please? I want equality for everybody. Can you all... Can you all just applaud me? Aren't I so open-minded? I know it's like that, but no, seriously, I mean... Yeah. I, I, I very, very, very much, and I've always believed, yeah, seriously, the whole, the old adage, as long as it's not hurting anybody, everybody should be able to do what they want to do, you know, if you're a consenting adult. Do whatever you want to do. I don't give a shit. I never have given a shit. It's nothing, nothing to do with politics whatsoever. Just, those are my opinions. Oh my god. When they perma stun me, man. This same guy from work told me to watch Cat in the. <laughs> oh, that's why I need to get out of here. This horrible shroom told you to watch Cat in the Hat, huh? I mean, I haven't seen that in forever. I just remember it being really, really unnerving. Um, yeah, that movie is just very odd. I mean, that's that's one of the you know one of the movies in a long line of very weird Dr. Seuss movies that came out, like real, what's it called, uh, uh, live action Dr. Seuss movies, like The Grinch too. Grinch was a good movie, I think, but uh, obviously The Cat in the Hat is not nearly as legendary. So it's in here, like it's somewhere in here, I don't know where it is, I guess we'll keep looking for it. We're looking for like a, a slab like that, you know? Thank you very much, Odd Alumni. No, you don't gotta calm down in my chat. My chat, uh, yeah, for anybody new here, if you're in the, if you're just like watching the horror show and going like, oh my god, what the, f do we miss it? 
Um, yeah, my chat's very, like, anything goes. I have one rule, one rule only. It's just respect people. That's it, you know? You can talk about whatever you want. You can have any opinion you want. Just respect people. All you gotta do. So, but it's very... Oh, it's right there. There it is. Okay, so we gotta figure out a way to... Do I have to drop? We just gotta figure out a way to get in there. How do I get in there? There must be a button hidden somewhere, but that's it. We gotta get that skull right there. Now, I'm not going to look at the chat because someone's going to tell me the answer. I'm assuming there's going to be a switch. What the fuck? I mean, I've done this before. I've done the Hill of Suicides quest before. So, I mean, I'm just... Like with so many things, I've just forgotten. Wait a sec. But that doesn't look like anything... Am I an idiot? It, it almost seems like that particular little room there is, um... I mean, it doesn't play by normal Oblivion rules. Like, this is not a gate that just goes... Do I have to use telekinesis? They usually don't force you to use that. But I am not seeing literally any other way inside of this room. Do I literally have to fucking use telekinesis? That would be crazy if that's true. Now, I do have... I do have a telekinesis spell that I've learned in a, in a, like a tome. So we do have it. Okay, let's see here. Uh, do, first of all, do I have a power that gives me telekinesis? Telekinesis 40 feet. Cost 640 magicka. I am pretty sure I do not, I do not have. Fuck, do I actually have to use telekinesis for this? Okay, so we definitely don't have 600. Yeah, <laughs> we have we have 81. Okay, hold on. I mean, I guess this is cheating, but if there's no other way, then there's no other way. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, there is a switch. So I didn't, I didn't cheat all the way. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, this seriously does not look like a. Um... So the hint is that these statues are looking up. I'm not sure if we can. Man, I don't remember this at all. They're looking up, which is supposed to give us a hint. Yeah, there's like a hidden switch. These guys are looking up too. So I suppose. Oh wait! Ah, look at that! Wait a second. Now this guy's looking down. Are they all looking up except for? Wow, they put way more work into this than I would have thought. This guy's looking down. So did he is he looking at a switch? I don't want to spend ten years doing this, and I don't know if it's going to be on a different level. All right, let's try to figure this out. This is, this might be the only statue that's actually looking down. These two guys are looking up. These two guys are looking up. These two guys are looking up. So literally every single statue is looking up except for that one in that room. Now you would think that he would be looking down at a switch, right? But he's not. He, unless I just totally missed it. Like see, he's looking down. Is there a switch on the sides? Where could the switch be? Okay, screw this. I don't want to spend, like, all stream on this. We got a lot of skulls to find. And it's already 8.16. Okay. Looking upwards. Looking downwards. Under the zealots. Oh, that's why. Okay. I was close. What the hell? But we can't move this guy. So, the switch is hidden under this guy's body. But we cannot... Unless we can. Oh, we can. But, okay. See, I wouldn't... I, I I don't mind that I that I cheated because I didn't think that I could move the body because it wouldn't let me uh, search the body. Okay? So, I thought normal interactions with the body wouldn't work. Look at that shit. Now, that is tricky. They should have... They should do more stuff like that in Oblivion, man. That would have been awesome. So, Lorenz Bogtrotter Skull. Boom. One skull down. Now, what do you have? Ebony Dagger Replica. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Also, various things here. We're up to 23,000 gold, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. 
Why would there be attack music? Oh, shoot. I needed to grab the skeleton key. Dang it. Forgot that. Whew. So, GV, are you gonna be Vidos? No idea what that means, buddy. Watching but working as well. That's why I'll be quiet. It's all good, man. Oh, they come a lot. Oh, cool. Okay, let's loot everything in here really quick. Hell yeah. Ooh, oh my god. We're finding so much good stuff because of our level. No, 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 no. Don't you, don't you spawn and leave. Yeah, always go for the summoners. Number one rule. It sucks that I've relegated Darvesh to daggers and bows because... Man... <laughs> It's so silly how good like Dawn Fang and Dust Fang are. They're so good. And like I've I've yeah, I've I've relegated myself to just using bows and, and daggers, which are almost always infinitely worse. I hate those things. Need to start working on her painting. It's gonna take forever. She had me run down to her office the other day. When I came back, she touched my hand when she thanked me and I died. But you didn't die, you're still here, thank God. You somehow got the touch and then still no! Somehow got the touch and then still lived. Which I'm very thankful for. Okay, how do I get the fuck out of here? Almost want to use COC, but I'm not. I'm not. Nope. Just because this is a stream doesn't mean we cheat. And yes, I may have looked up kind of what the answer... <sighs> this thing fills me with so much rage. That is why Oblivion will always be timeless, cool little touches like this. I just... I just don't understand... I just don't understand why they don't do more things like this in all the Elder Scrolls games, pretty much. As I've always maintained, uh, Morrowind is pretty good with stuff like this. But this game... or uh, Yeah, Morrowind's pretty good, but especially the other ones... Just, like, you've got this huge open world. Why not just relegate, you know, one guy... You call, you know, to, to, like, doing shit like that. You know, you can just have him be like, oh, the button guy, right? And then he just puts weird buttons in places... I don't know, man. It just feels like these things are far too few, you know, too few and far between for a big, giant open world game. Um, oh, I got an... Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize we could get Aqua Nostrum even if we just returned. I hate these things. I hate those things more than... more than anything. More than anything in the world. I mean, are you going to make what you're doing now into videos? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not really going to probably edit it. Because, I don't know, I could edit it. But honestly, that, that would be a very horrible editing process just for one video. That's going to be largely just about grinding stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to upload this stream in, in its entirety to YouTube. Is probably going to be my plan, basically. Okay, I'm going to talk to the chat for a second, and then I'm going to go to the bathroom, and then I'll be right back. I know I've asked twice, but what is your plan for closing Oblivion Gates? Uh, we'll come to it when we... We'll oh, it doesn't work. I was going to say we'll cross over that bridge, but it's a gate, not a bridge. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll come... We'll solve that when we come to that bridge. I fucked that up, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm not thinking about it now, because I know it's going to suck. <laughs> I don't know anything other than English, um, although I did take two... Classes of French in high school, but I've mostly forgot about most of them. Apple juice? Uh, no. No. Uh, yes, let's go with that, actually. Yes, they are calling me apple juice. Yes, in fact, yes. You're right, I made sure to live so I could come to your streams because there's a list of about five people I can talk to that are capable of the, ty of the type of intelligent conversation I crave, and I'm not losing two of them. Absolutely, yeah, there's a lot of people here, Yeah, and I love it that they're smart enough to be able to talk. Oh, God, I hate these words that are coming out of my mouth. Look. Some people are... No, I'm not even continuing down this path because we're going to start ostracizing people. I... All I will say is, yes, I very much value, just like you, intelligent conversation. In, I, in fact, I'm going to go to the bathroom in a second, but I just want to say two things. Number one, Alpha Wolf X Omega is sending me a, an original DS bundle for my collection, which you guys can see when I go head to the bathroom. Number two, Caligula is sending me the final piece of the puzzle for that cube right there, which is a GameCube. And so to both of you... Both of you, thank you guys so, so much. So, so, so much. I mean, I'm going to open it on stream and thank you guys a hundred times more than this, but tentatively, thank you. Um, and also, in addition to that, what was I going to say? Something about the stream, I think, or the YouTube channel. 
Fuck, it was important. Oh, it was important. Damn it, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be right back. Enjoy the collection, though. It's coming along. And like I said, that cube's going to be for Caligula's uh, GameCube. And then Alpha's uh, DS will go, like, right there in the handheld cube. All right, be right back. Oh, I do remember what I was going to say, although it's not, uh, it's not related to the stream. It's not, it's not, <laughs> but what I was going to say was, um, yeah, I love intelligent conversation and deep conversation so much that literally every Friday when Mary is here after the drunk stream ends, we plan on playing video games or playing board games or even just watching a movie or just, you know, just doing stuff together. And we just fucking end up literally like amongst other things, talking, like, all night about shit, and, like, before we know it, it's, like, literally 10 o'clock in the morning, so, yeah, that is, yeah, that's, like, my favorite thing ever, which I've said many times, I love it, love it, love it, um, okay, let's save the game here, man, we haven't saved since then, Jesus, okay, now let's, uh, let's look where the next skull is, yeah, I hope this doesn't ruin some of the some of the gravitas for you guys for the let's play. But yeah, the only alternative is for me to literally go to every single. <coughs> <coughs> Did they even give hints? Did they even give hints where these skulls are. You know what I mean? Gananary Ravel Skull is located in the Chantry of Knife Point Hollow, a cave in the wilderness between the Split and Bliss. Okay, so it's in the Chantry, which I guess is the subsection of Knife Point Hollow, which I think we should have been to as well the only thing i don't like about uesp oh god uh oh i hope we can go there because it's related to uh okay where is this thing we got the weird lake okay let before i look at the chat i can't see can't see you guys right now keep that in mind okay i need to mark this on my map uh Knife Point Hollow is right about there. And hopefully we can go inside. We might not be able to, at which point we'll switch over to the uh, Museum of Oddities. There's a reason we might not be able to. I don't want to spoil it. But there is a reason. Yes, indeed. You and Mary are the smarty pants. We are the smarty party. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah, I don't want to ostracize anybody, by the way. I... I feel like way too often I just talk about how, you know, I, I feel like I belong on Reddit slash I am very smart because of how often I talk about how smart I am. But I try not to make it egotistical. I just try to illustrate why I enjoy things like conversation so much because, yeah, it like waxes my, my thought. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's fucking talk about something. Let's talk about good old sports ball. Hit me. I need to kill you so I can travel. Hit me, you bitch. Thank you. Just slash you right up. Oh my god. These guys are awful. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. We can level up too, which we got to keep in mind. I do remember what I need to do when I go into my inventory, so... Yes. I do remember. Think you need a specific item from Haskell? Ugh. That's what I was... That's what I was thinking. Okay, so let's go into our inventory really quick and equip the Cruelty's Heart. 
This thing breaks so often. I guess that's why it's it's bad. I guess that's why I thought it was so good, but it's bad. Yeah, we're gonna equip Cruelty's heart so we don't see the, the purple fuzzies on everybody. Oh, no. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to switch over. Well, we can get the other skulls, too. But we probably just won't be able to get this one. There's this guy in one of the towns that talks to you about his daughter who committed suicide. He tells you that her remains disappeared, thus she has a rest restless soul. Yeah, I guess that's what I am asking about, um, for those of you in the chat. I is there, like, for this, you know, unmarked quest, are there any hints at all? I think that's what you mean. But are there any hints at all that, you know, hint you <sighs> towards where these skulls are? Otherwise... How would anybody ever find it? Like, you'd literally have to complete every single location within the Shivering Isles uh, to be able to, you know, find the skulls. You'd have to, like, literally be looking for the skulls because there's, like, five of them. And if they're... Because it's an unmarked quest. You know what I mean? I know. I know. I know, Zerker. Um, yes. Yes, I know. But at the risk of sounding even more egotistical... The fact of the matter is, I am <laughs> No. No. I was gonna say- Okay, wait. Ooh. Okay, we're looking- Okay, we, this might actually work then. We're looking for the Chantry, basically. Yeah! Yeah, let's stop talking about this. Let's switch gears, for now. What is the name of the unmarked quest you're trying to do? The Hill of Suicides. Or something else, I don't know. We've been on a roll Caligula for a while now. Uh, for three hour streams, so. Most likely three hours. I was saying that um, I felt a headache coming on, but in all honesty, it's... I don't know if it's the Excedrin I took, but seems to be passing. So, uh, yeah, we're probably just going to do a full three-hour stream to get as much done as possible. Okay, let's try to kill the Shambles in one hit. Oh, he's a complete Shamble. Well, look at you! Uh. Wow, a complete shambles. Now you're in complete shambles. <laughs> uh, there are no hints as far as I know besides talking to that guy to push you towards finding her remains. Well, then yeah. I don't know, it almost feels like it was... It's just how are you supposed to complete that then, you know what I mean? Okay, we're looking for the Chantry. Let's see if we can't see it on our map thus far. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is what he was talking about. Yeah, we might not be able to go through here. Maybe, though. Woo! We can find it. Sulfuric Trash. Blind PC guy. Thank you guys for following. Welcome to the stream. Can I send you a link to a site with the skull locations? I'm already looking at them, bud. Yeah, I've already been uh, following them this whole entire time. Okay, so in here there's going to be another skull. I'm not sure where it is, but we'll look for it. I didn't even see the picture this time. Last time I did see the picture. Who are these people? Oh, uh, cross? What the heck? You're a worm! Don't you run from me. Don't you call me a worm to my face and, ah! and then run away? Okay, so the skull that we're looking for is in this location. Nice try. See that sidestep, ladies and gents? Now that was a good sidestep. This will also be on YouTube? Uh, yes, most likely. I just gotta remember to edit and up... Well, yeah, edit it. Yeah, I, do, I still do need to edit it a little bit. Yeah, and then upload it. You are smart. Remember when we did the IQs? You were smart then. You were drunk, so I wouldn't waste my time on here if you weren't. Yeah, it's true, but there's no point. I, every time we start talking about stuff like this, it always turns into, Oh, I'm so smart, guys. Look how smart I am. And I hate it. That's not... It's never my intention, and I... I, I've said this exact line of thought so many goddamn times that I hate it. I hate repeating myself like a broken record. Um, yeah, so I was going to say that, but I, there's no point to because I've said it so many times. Uh, the, yeah. But thank you. I appreciate the compliments. And I think the same about pretty much most, like, most of you guys that I actually know. I mean, there's a lot of you that I don't know, obviously. You're new. Um, yeah. I hate... I just hate it. I... I I've got a nice mix of egotisticalness in me and also a nice mix of humbleness. Much more egotistical than humble, though. That's for sure. Um, but, that's not, I, I, I don't like saying things like that. There's a difference between owning something about yourself and also, like, 
saying it way too much. Especially in the vein that if you... Like, if I just came on stream every stream and just was like, Oh, by the way, guys, I've ha I have a huge penis. Uh, do you guys know that I have a huge penis? By the way, have I mentioned that? Have I mentioned how big my penis is? It's like, is there something wrong with that guy's penis? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't want to come off like that. What location are you in now? I'm in uh, Knife Point Hollow. But I don't want to know where exactly they are. I just want to know the location of them. I want to find them myself. Because otherwise, it's just cheating, man. Now, this place is huge, though. So, we're going to have to pay close attention. Might be in there. Okay, so we might have to find... Oh. Where does this go? Back to Knife Point Hollow. Okay, maybe in here. I don't know where it would be, but basically we're just looking for a skull, pretty much. What made you want to jump into Oblivion again compared to your past Let's Play? Um, Two arms. Two arms. It was like my most successful Let's Play until the Skyrim one, and I thought I could do a much better job, basically, uh, with my new given talent. You know, I, I feel like I uh, got a lot better at making Let's Plays and videos, basically. So I was like, it's probably time. Ooh. No. Ooh. Why do you... Why you think... Why do things weigh so much, man? Okay, let's go ahead and level up, by the way. Been a while. <laughs> well, thank you, Caligula. The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck. But you know you've earned every ounce of your success. That I do. Strength, endurance, personality. Personality. This isn't a very ad-friendly woe. What is a woe? This is going on YouTube and you're over here talking about your large genitalia. You think I don't know Arctic Hawk 999? Do you think that it just completely bypassed my knowledge? Do you think that I, I was like, oh, I completely have forgotten. We didn't get Don Dustfang really? Superior? Really? How many things did we kill? I swear to god. Okay. Okay, this place is huge. Um I don't think we've passed the skull just yet. If you guys if you if you guys do see that I passed it, not like I literally passed the door for it. You know, if I walk past the door, that's one thing. I'm saying if I pass the like if I literally like if it's right there and I literally like pass it like that. You guys can tell me that I passed it, but otherwise, otherwise I want to find it. It may be hidden like the other one, so we have to keep that in mind. But we are in the, you know, the location where it actually is in. Once knew a guy who had to awkwardly squeeze in the fact he was a cop into every single conversation. Practically every sentence he used started with the well as a cop. The guy was such an obnoxious douche. Yeah, I'm very, like, self-aware of that shit. Um, it may not seem like it as, as of tonight and what I was talking about. But, exactly, what you just said, that is why I was saying, like, I don't want to ever sound like that. There's people that are so, so goddamn oblivious uh, to stuff like that. It is awful, and it's awful to witness, too. Where'd she go? Where did she? What the hell? Are you the same person? Um, yeah, there's people that are so oblivious to... Just, yeah, not knowing that they're doing that. And it, I pick on it, pick up on it like that, man. And I, I say this every now and then. It's not to ostracize people in the chat. It's just to give, like, kind of an example. But there are people that do it in the chat. You know, I don't even think anybody here, to be honest. Uh, I say that a lot, but I, I'm truthful, too. I don't just say that to make everybody in the chat be like, oh, okay, he's not talking about me. No, like, seriously, there are people that I know that do do that in the chat. That, like, every single thing they talk about, they, like, bring in the fact that, you know, something about their personality or their occupation or whatever. Uh, they're not here right now. I'm thinking about, like, specific people. <laughs> I shouldn't even say that, but I just want, want to let you guys know that there are, are examples that are present in my mind. Um, yeah, man, you got to... I'm talking about perspective before. You guys got to be, like... You got to be aware of that shit because other people recognize it very easily and it is very annoying. Very, very, very annoying. Hey, yeah. Uh, good night, Caligula. Good night. Have a good night. I know it's the best, but I want daggers, dang it. As a cop, Oblivion is <laughs> As a cop, Oblivion is better than Skyrim. Alright, I think we've backtracked enough. Let's take a look where the stupid skull is. <sighs> These things are tough to find, man. 
Okay, knife point hollow. Okay, blah, blah, blah. A boss level undead will attack you from the east room, so be prepared. That was the shambles. Look at the western entrance to the chantry. You did that. Skull is found in a small chamber in the northeast end of the chantry. All right. I'm not, again, I don't want to look too far past what I actually need to know. Northeast end of the chantry. Northeast end. So it's like, okay, so what do we have to do? Back, and then pretty much all the way back to the start. There should be a door on my left. Okay. Can't wait to see. Yeah, that's kind of the only place that I didn't go to. Okay, so back this way, right? Yeah. Then if I keep hovering over to the left, we should be good. It's like when people have to constantly say how honest they are or that they never lie. They usually are either lying or hiding something. It's probably a subconscious thing, right? To, like, sort of... Yeah, I don't know. I Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's always the case, but it's definitely very frequent that somebody's either, like, insecure about something or... I can say it's not the case of me talking about intelligence or anything like that, um, but... <laughs> how does that sound, though? I'm, like, trying to... It's, it's definitely not that. No, um, intelligence is not something that you can kind of fake, though, you know what I mean? So, that's not why I'm worried, like, people are going to be like, Oh, God, he is he insecure that he's actually a big old dum-dum? It's not, yeah, it's really not something that you can fake. But, yeah, people do that a lot, and I'm very aware of it. Uh, I know it's over here somewhere, and there must be, we've already explored this, which means there must be a hidden door, which means there must be a hidden... Man, I, I guess it's coming back to me that, yeah, they're all hidden buttons, basically. So where would this one be? They're both looking. Is it always going to be the case that a... Uh, oh, okay. I was going to say, that's too easy, isn't it? I guess it's always going to be the case that it's a hidden button, which is pretty fun, you know, in all, in all honesty. It's pretty fun to uh, know that we have to find hidden buttons. I'm just hoping that... It's not like literally like the you know there's a switch somewhere deep within that we have to find that activates it. But let's look around for a bit. I guess there would be a hidden button somewhere in this room. I was going to say no way it's that, right? Where could it be? Both statues are looking at Oh. Boom. Okay. All right, here we go. And boom. Gadanary Ralvel Skull. Okay. Ebony boots. Take these. Thank you. Purloin shadows. That's a fun word. Purloined. I like that. I like that word. Sounds like... Sounds. Oh, it, I was just about to say. It sounds like a Pokemon. It is actually a Pokemon. People who need to use their past good deeds as evidence for why they're good people aren't good people. That's a hard one for me, in all, honest, uh, in all honesty. Um, where the hell are we? Okay, I need to get rid of this. And we need to get out of here. Okay, it looks like we're in the right place. That's a hard one for me, honest, uh, honestly, though. What you're talking about, teeters, teeters of the P. Because... There, you know, there's the whole thing, like, um, there's a, there's a, there's a Curb Your Enthusiasm episode where Larry David, like, donates a large amount of money to, like, a charity, right? And then Ted Danson, who's actually, like, real life Ted Danson, who's actually a, uh, a, you know, he's a char a recurring character on the show, he plays himself. He donates too, but he does it, uh, anonymously, and the whole point of the episode is, like, you know, everybody's like, why didn't you donate anonymously? Why'd you, why'd you have to, you know, make it say Larry David? And I'll talk about this more in a second here, but Zetrum, we got to find the next place real quick. Zetrum area of Mel, Milcar. Okay, where is this? Let me find this real quick on the map. Do, do, do. Okay, Milcar, 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 Milcar. Fe it's near the Fetid Grove, which is where... Oh, we've already found it. Oh, excellent. Okay. So, yeah, we need to go to Milcar and then found the thing that starts with an X. Uh, Zetrum. Zetrum. Remember, ladies and gents. Remember Zetrum. Zetrum. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The whole thing. 
I feel like if you do do, like, look, it's weird that, yeah, I know some people donate large amounts of money and they do it anonymously. And if you do that, you're way more self selfless than I ever could be in my whole life. Like if I ever do that, I want, I want, I want, uh, you know, not gl uh, glory is the wrong word. I want credit. I want credit for it. And that's, that's a part of myself that I probably should get rid of because like, especially if I was a, you know, if I was a Buddhist to truly transcend, you'd have to get rid of that. You'd have to want to just give for the sake of giving and not want any credit whatsoever. I can't do that, man. Like if I'm going to give like a lot of money, I want, I want people to know. I want people to know. And I hate that. I hate that about myself. Um, but like, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like, what the heck? You know, I, I, you know what it is. Oh, look, we just found another like unique thing. Curious of the Juggernaut, Fortify Heavy Armor, 8 points on self. I think that's a thing like the Staff of Vulnerability. Um, we're going to start finding a lot of these in this Let's Play. I think um, it might not be just because I'm a terrible person, in all honesty, which I'm not. I'm being humble. You're not a terrible person if you want to donate and get credit for it. You know what I mean? You're not a terrible person. But I, I think it's it's less about that. It's more about, like, I have a very... I, I want to be, like, very just. You know what I mean? Like, I have, a, I have a very strong sense of, like, justice. And I feel like everybody should get credit where credit's due, pretty much. I've always thought that. It's regardless of whether or not it's based on me. If, if, some, if somebody donates... I mean, why do you think I talk about your all's donations so much? It's because, like, you guys, I want you guys to know that you deserve it. Me giving you credit. That sounds weird. But you know what I mean. I, I want you to get credit where credit's due. And I've always felt that way about, like, everything. Um, oh, my God. Shit. Where do we go? I don't know where to go. I know where to go. I'm saying I don't know what's going to get us closer to that place faster. It's not this, is it? Grove over collection. No, that's for main quest. Uh, let's take a look at the local map real quick and see. No, 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 no. It might be here. Yeah, if we hang a left, I guess this is the only place that we haven't been to. Might be this one, hopefully. If it starts with an X, then we're on the right track. Ooh, yes, please. Start with an X, please. Ha! Excellent. All right. Let's uh, wait an hour to restore some health. If you ever need, I have all the answers to where the skulls are. I appreciate it, but like I said, yeah, I want to find them myself. I don't want to... If I truly get stuck, uh, absolutely. But I've got all the stuff pulled up too, man. I just don't like alt-tabbing out of this game because Oblivion's kind of weird with alt-tabbing. Bye-bye. Uh. Okay, so it's in here somewhere. Um, so it seems like the... It seems like the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, the theme is that it's a hidden button somewhere, you know what I mean, with all these, so, also statues looking at certain areas, it seems like that's the theme with all these hidden skulls, so, let's keep that in mind as we're playing through here. I am Buddhist, you could be seen as giving, not to be selfish, but to have the word see, giving is a real thing. Not sure what you mean by that, but, um... I just mean like I like I'm not religious at all as I've said many times, but I do like Buddhism because it has very real applications to uh, hum humanity. Oh, there's like a weird, like a weird thing on the side of my tooth. It might be a cavity. It's like when I oh shit, I'm not gonna talk about this because I hate dentist stuff and I hate <clears throat> I hate dentist stuff and I hate doctor stuff. Anyways, I've got a button here. Um. Yeah, I think Buddhism has very real applications for human society uh, that a lot of religion just doesn't have. And I've talked about this Whoa. before too, but basis of Buddhism, at least from what I get from it, is literally like strip away all the negative aspects of humanity and then you're left with, you know, somebody that can transcend. And I've said this too, you know, humans are never going to do that because we're humans. We can't, we can't do it. Um, just like I could never... Donate a large amount of money to a streamer and not have my name there because I My the way my brain works is like if I'm gonna do this nice thing for that person. I want them to know Holy shit. We're finding so much stuff like in every chest now. It's crazy 
Um, yeah, I want them to know. So just like that, like I'll never, I'll never be stripped of that idea. And I know that I won't. And if I said that I would, I'd be lying to myself. So, you know, it'd be interesting to think though that like given a lot of time, could humanity evolve to that point? Maybe. If if we live long enough, you know, if we don't like kill each other or do stupid things long enough that humanity maybe could get to that point, then maybe hum humans could transcend. I don't know though. Thought a lot about donating and honestly and all, but for me it comes down to the cliche. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's a very yeah, that's a very good yeah, that's a very good um uh, you know, not synonym, but you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, no, I, yeah, no, I, to be honest, I, I do envy people that, uh, donate anonymously, but I'm just like you, man. I would never, I would never donate anonymously. And it's not that I'm selfish. It's just that it's not, it's not truthful to me personally. Like it, I wouldn't be truthful to myself if I donated honestly, I would actually regret it. And I'm just being honest with you guys. Is it dark in there? Is it just me? It's dark everywhere. This game is so dark on PC for some reason. Many feel the act of giving is pointless and has no results or change. And other, if others see you give and bring change, then you change others' mind about being kind. No, but, well, okay, well, yeah, many people might think that. I completely disagree, though. If you give, it's, uh, let's say you give something to somebody that's really needing it, right? Like a family that's struggling to get by and you give them something, you know, and it makes their month and it makes them get by for that month. If you give anonymously, it doesn't it's like it doesn't even matter if you get credit or not. That family just got got by for that month and they might not know who did it, but literally you just made the complete difference for that particular set of people. And that in itself is really really admirable and even if nobody's there to witness it, the family feels the repercussions of it, you know what I mean? Illusion? Illusion. Yeah, 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 that is what I was saying. <sighs> Man, should we just this is so slow going. I guess we should just look up where these things are. Like, these skulls are so hard to find. You kind of just have to, like, get to a dead end and then, you know, pick the dead end that's correct. Yeah, I don't think anybody gives a shit if I just look up where it is. And if you do, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to do what's best for the stream and for the YouTube video. Okay, where's this gosh darn skull? Uh, when using the... Okay, so there's a drop. Two Scalon statues. Okay, when you enter, two Scalon statues facing facing each other. Beyond, beyond them is a chamber containing some local wildlife guarding a doorway flanked by torches. Rather than heading in that direction, turn left and walk up the stairs. Holy shit. All right, we're looking, basically, we're looking for a big drop. Or a drop. A drop of some sort. Man, yeah. I, I would think that this would be easy, uh, but, like, there's just so many... Is this what it's talking about? This is this must be where we came in. Yeah, wait, maybe not though. We came through here, two torches, said like rather than going that way, turn around, head up the stairs. This seems too easy. Okay, we're basically, yeah, we're looking for a drop. So wherever we haven't been yet, I guess. It's called an analogy. No, illusion, illusion works too. Buddhism has a bunch of good sense. I go to it for advice. Although, as I've said, I'm Christian. I mean, all religions uh, build off one another, so, uh, yeah, I mean, in all, uh, I, I honestly think, like, religion should just be one thing. If you are going to be religious, you should just treat it as one thing. I think that would be far more beneficial than having all of these subsets of pretty much the same ideas, you know, kind of. I, obviously, they are a lot different, but I don't know, man. I don't know. They definitely do borrow a lot of, you know, themes from each other. But I like Buddhism the best. Buddhism the best. Definitely do. Always have. And I also think it's just like, you know, what? Oh my god. That hurt. Poop John, thanks for following. And the Ford is also the skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, Jet, I've already got all this stuff pulled up. I mean, it's, it's that, you know, it's just, I'm not, I'm getting like turned around now because I was trying to find it myself. I can't believe how ridiculous some of this stuff is to find. 
It's just got to be the one area that I haven't explored, though. So let's take a look. Uh, we've been everywhere. The heck? So this is where I came in from. As soon as the one turn left, head up the stairs, then turn right. The skull's laying on the floor? What? That's not what I saw. What I saw was like, there's a drop that you have to drop down to. Oh my god. These skulls are annoying, man. It said there's a drop that you have to drop down to that's like too too small to jump back up. I'm getting like super turned around though. I guess we're just we're just gonna have to like find the entrance and, and go from there, I guess. I'm getting like super turned around. So where's the Nexus? This is the other side. Yeah, we need to go back here. I think it's this, so I could be wrong. We need to go back here. Man, some of these things are just really annoying. Okay, not you. This way. Oh my. Do we. This isn't the drop. I cannot. Just like with every single one so far, I cannot wait to see where it actually is. Because, like, I have. Unless it's just nonchalantly, like, on the ground, which it very well could be, I suppose. Just like with real life, though, I get completely turned around so easily, man. You never went back to using the skeleton key? Yeah, I know. I, was men I mentioned that beforehand. Um, yeah, that's something that I need to uh, need to go grab again. Okay, uh, Jed, if you could go ahead and repost that, that'd be excellent. I don't want to alt-tab and take a look at it. It's going to be pretty tough. Hey, what's up, 98 Eagle? Welcome back. Back in my day, we engaged in wholesome ball worship. What is that? Also, the skull of Limark, a, a ghost who wanders the hill of suicides, which rests in Milkar Extreme. As soon as one enters from Milkar Nexus, turn left. Head up the stairs, then turn right. Turn left. Head up the stairs. Then turn right. What the hell? That makes me mad. That's like literally the one... We were right here too. That's like the one... That's the one place we did not go to. Literally the one place in that whole entire area. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, hone it in. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. The stream gods are just having a little laugh with you, buddy. That's all. You know. That's all. You're not stupid. You're a smart boy. Remember? You're so smart. Okay. God. That's just silly. That was literally the one spot in the whole entire room that I didn't go to. The one spot. By the way, uh, if you're new to the stream, welcome, guys. And there's going to be a lot of new people tonight. Welcome. Hope you're all having a great night. Um, yeah, this is largely how the streams go. You know, it's usually just GV after dark. You know, GV talks about whatever the fuck. Whatever the fuck. Okay, the next goal is in the amphitheater. can in the amphitheater. I don't think we've been there before. Okay, give me one second, guys. I need to look up where this place is. Okay, so remember, can amphitheater. This one, I mean, this one is small too, so if I can't find this one without looking it up, I swear, maybe I'm just not... I hate to say it, but maybe... <sighs> guys, maybe I'm just not the best Oblivion player of the whole world. Maybe. Just Maybe. Okay, so that's where Can is, and we're looking for the amphitheater, and that's a real small blurb. I didn't look where it is, so Jet, get it ready. Get it ready, but don't post it just yet. I want to try to find it myself. Um, I wonder if there's a mountain range that I'm going to have to... Okay, let's go to High Cross just to be safe. Yeah, get it ready. I'm going to try to find it myself, though. We'll see. You said you start using it again in today's what? episode. Oh yeah, well no, I will. Like I said, I record a bunch, um, you know, in advance. So I've been wanting to do that for a while. I've just forgot, and I said it in this stream too. I love it when I make those noises too. It's fun for me. I like making noises. 
It's that I believe in Jesus as God. I read a lot of holy books and Christianity makes the most sense to me. I believe a bit differently than other Christians. My beliefs... I don't want to just, like, bypass what you're saying. But I have to also make sure that I don't break my legs. My beliefs are a puzzle. When I find a piece that fits, I put it in its place. The only science I don't agree with is evolution and the age of the Earth. I believe it's about 10 to 40,000 years old. Not millions like the guy... That guy a few generations back... In my family said. Oh. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Well, like I said earlier on in the stream, man. Hey, what's up, 98? Yeah. Oh. I'm procrastinating. Well, what, yeah. Whatever it takes. You know? Whatever you whatever you got to do while watching the stream. It's all good to me, dude. Um. Yeah. I. Yeah. Like I said earlier in the stream, man. To, to each his own. I'm not going to ostracize anybody or insult anybody for what they believe in or anything like that. But uh, I don't really share anything with a religion at all. Uh, very few things. I understand why some people find it beneficial. And I understand that's, you know, a lot of people do get things out of it. And that's cool. Um, but if you guys are new and if you don't know this about me yet. I mean, I mentioned it on YouTube too. So it's not a big reveal or anything. But... I am largely not against religion, which is what called a um, anti-theist. No, I do whatever you want to do. I just, uh, to be honest, I think um, I, I I don't I don't find much value in religion. And I know that's for a religious person to hear that. It's like, well, shit, that's like so different from what I think, and it's hard to. You look at me in the same light. Not that I said something that's really bad or anything. Just that you know you may not have realized that about me, but. It's true, man. It's true. And I'm truthful. I'm honest. I'm gonna cut you up! I love summoners. Like, it takes them so long. They're like, eh! And then they... Yeah. <laughs> Cannot find the exact location of the skull? It's all good. This one should be easy. Uh, this one should be pretty easy. We're looking for the amphitheater first and foremost. So, yeah, we have to get to the amphitheater room. The Patterson dude? What does that mean? Hey, y'all, how's it going? I'm late, but I hope this all has gone well. Yeah, so far, Joey, I'd say so. Just grind some out. I wish we could get through the skulls faster, but... Guess the skulls take way longer than I would have thought. You know what I mean? Where's my agnostic atheists at? I don't even know what to call myself. In all honesty, um... I'm not... I'm not as agnostic or whatever as see, I, I don't consider my rel myself religious at all but I don't also don't consider myself spiritual like a lot of people say that they're spiritual uh, before like maybe two years ago like I was completely just you know completely not anything I didn't believe in anything any which way one or the other today's GV though uh, I'm much more like I don't know what to call it I don't like I don't like the word spiritual because when somebody says spiritual that leads you to think like, oh, so they go to like psychics or they listen to uh, Abraham, whatever that, if anybody even knows what that is, you know, um, or whatever. They, they're just all into that weird shit basically is what I think of. Like my mom's spiritual and she is into a lot of that stuff. Here we go. Here's the amphitheater. So whenever somebody says they're like that, that's what I think of. And that's not what I am. All that I think, and I've got no proof for it and I fully fully, you know, admit that, and fully just, um, yeah, fully admit that, like, I fully know that I've got no proof, and there's no way for me to actually prove it, but in this day and age, what I think is, like, first of all, your mind really alters how your reality is, and if you're a negative, shitty asshole person, you're gonna have a very negative, shitty asshole life, and even if you've got a great life right now, but you're also a shitty person, I feel like eventually it's gonna catch up to you, and life's gonna shit all over your face. Take a big duke on your chest. I feel like that's gonna happen. Um, and I, I know also that some people, it doesn't happen. Some people just get away with being an asshole their whole life. But I think that's the rarity. I think that if you are a terrible person, um, I think, you know, eventually we'll catch up to you, A or B. Probably not really happy. Like, maybe you have a sports car or whatever. And I'm not, I'm like generalizing with like rich people, you know. Like, everybody likes to think that rich people are all assholes. That's not what I mean. I'm just saying that maybe if you are so much of an asshole because you feel like you have more than other people or you just feel like you have a better life and then you act, like take a step back and like ask, actually ask yourself, wait, hold on. Wait, am I really happy? And then start thinking like, oh, shit. No, I'm not actually. I'm really 
Actually, why am I such an asshole? It's probably because uh, all of my anger and assholishness. Hey, Doggers is here. <laughs> hey, the slut for oblivion. That's a weird title, but hey, it's a self-named one. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's going to catch up to you, basically, is my point. Uh, same thing goes with being good and, and kind and generous and all that. I feel like if you're that, you're going to have a better life. And Now, if you think that way, there's no other explanation for it other than, like, magic, right? I mean, really, in reality, as a realist, which I consider myself as well, it's like... But reality dictates that, no, you could be a total asshole and get away with it. You could, because there's no, like, force that, you know, delegates assholes getting karmic justice or anything like that. No. But, see, that's what I used to think. But now I think... Now I think it does catch up to you. Now I think, uh... Yeah, I think, I think karma is a thing. I actually do very much believe in karma in this day and age. And it's really the only thing about myself that... Um... I, you know, that I believe, but I also can't prove, if that makes any sense. So, anyways, for what it is, that's my beliefs, um, right now. And they can change, you know? Life, uh, you know what's a good thing about keeping an open mind? It's not just that people like you more, it's not just that, you know, you have a better set of, um, pretty much... Your presence here will not... I don't know, it's not just that you're better suited for the world, in my opinion. I think if you are open-minded, you know, you're better suited for the world. Like, just as an evolutionary... Call it, like, um... Call it, like, evolution, if you will. But anyways... Uh, yeah, I, I think that if you are open-minded, you are better set for the world. And you just, you're just open to more experiences, okay? That's what I want to end this with, because I know I'm talking a lot. You're open to more experiences, and you're open to more change, and you're open to, like, different thought processes that change you as a person. And it comes with age as well, but I think it comes faster with people that are open-minded and people that, you know, are obviously willing to accept change, basically. <sighs> they are a Zerker, but there are also people that are pessimistic and negative, as I'm sure you know. But yes, it is also used to describe people that are realistic. Um, it totally is because some people just want to live in a bubble. It can go the opposite way too where, you know, you are spiritual or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I know people like this and I'm not going to name names again. But, you know, you are spiritual and you are very positive. But at the same time, you don't want to listen to things at all. You don't want to like hear reality sometimes because you want to live in your bubble. That's the opposite way. That's bad. Like that's... That's a heretical thought, basically. This is a nice blog work. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can hit the subscribe button and give me money if you want to physically subscribe. Holy shit, once again, like, I feel like I've explored every single spot and I just... Goddamn, dude. Alright, yeah, fuck this. I'm just gonna literally look it up every time. This is so silly, man. I cannot literally find, like, a spot where it just... <sighs> Karma has no power behind it other than action and result. There's no simple cause for anything. All things are interconnected. Well, nobody knows for sure. That's the grand thing of it all. I don't know. As someone who's pretty centered around science, I find that it's a lot easier to understand life in the world with a scientific view. And that's that's like 90% of what I think. It's just... I know that it's... I Again, I like I've said, you, I cannot prove those thoughts. It's just what I feel. And it's almost to the point where what I know. You know? It's just... That's what I think in this day and age. All right, let's see. Look at the entrance to the ruin. Uh, avoid the unfriendly fire from the two hunger statue. The first part of this room will locate the door of the amphitheater. Did that. In the amphitheater, head east. Follow the hallway as it turns north. Head east once again to the intersection until you reach a small room guarded by two heretics. Her skull is resting on a small shrine in the corner of the room, surrounded by far, four harvested screaming maw samples. Okay, so head east, follow the hallway until it turns. So east, north, east, east, north, east, east, north, east. I have shitty memory. East, north, east, uh, east, north, east, east, north, east. East, north, east. Wait, east, wait, east, north, east. Right? East, north, east. So it should be in here. And it said it was in the corner. Boom, boom, boom. 
boom, boom. Hey, thanks for that three dollars. Colorado represent. Hell yeah, dude. There's so many people that like watch the streams and you know watch the YouTube channel that are from Colorado, and I never realized it. In fact, people have sent me stuff that live in Colorado, and that's cool too. So hell yeah, Colorado represent. I feel like Colorado, in all honesty, what the hell is one of the best states ever, if not the best state. I love Colorado. I feel like California would be cool too. No, again, no. I know, I know. As a liberal, I'm not. I don't. Well, I don't consider my. I consider myself left leaning. But I know it sounds like, oh, yeah, well, the left states. No, no, no. I think, like, literally climate and people and everything like that. I think, um, anyways, yeah, I think. Dude, again, how the fuck? How am I just missing the? Stay away. I'm dumbfounded, man. How am I missing, like, the one room that, like, that has it every time? Oh, my gosh. My, like, senses are failing me. Stop! Okay. Whew! Pretty spiritual, but all I really do is burn incense, meditate, and drink tea. <laughs> well, then you're not spiritual. And the screaming ma? Yeah, well, we got it. We got it. Well, the type of karma I believe in is so social, ideal, if anything. If you're, too, if you're good to people, people generally are willing to do good for you, too. So if you're just generally good to people and do good things, then good things are more likely to happen to you. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. That's what exactly that. That's exactly what I believe. In a nutshell, Zia CK, thank you for that three dollars and three cents. By the way, uh, ninety-eight Eagle H Town in Austin, lit as fuck. Uh, before we get started on this again, I need to take for like a quick mental break because, whew, it's exhausting me finding these skulls, man. Um. Yeah, ZSCK. And if I missed anything that you guys have said, you can repost it. Feel free. Because I know lots of chat tonight, and I'm missing a lot of it. Uh, ZSCK. No, not you. 98 Eagle. I'm reading a book called Away With Words. In fact, I'll show you guys oh, the chat. Eh. Eh. I'm reading this book here. It's called Away With Words. It's about puns. Literally, the whole book is about puns. No joke. Um... And they talk, they talk about a thing in Austin called the O. Henry competition. Just wondering, does anybody that knows anything about Texas, or specifically Austin, Texas, have you ever heard of the O. Henry competition? It's apparently the biggest pun competition in the entire world. So I'm just curious. He talks about it at length in this book. I'm just curious if anybody has heard of it, knows about it whatsoever. Kelly, it's great if you avoid the really large, popular, glamorous cities. A lot of people there are assholes. Of course, that could just be how I feel about it since I'm from a small California mountain town where pretty much everyone knows each other, but whatever. Okay. That could be, yeah. But I don't, I don't, I've only been in California one time and it was pretty much in and out for a business thing, so. Yeah, I don't know much about it. Why didn't Noah have dinosaurs in the ark? God commanded him to take two of each species. <sighs> Look, I mean, none of that, none of those Bible things ever happened for real. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, that's what I 100% believe without a doubt. That's that's the scientific aspect of me. None of that, none of that stuff really happened at all, at all. And a lot, I think a lot of like religious people like to use the caveat: oh, they're supposed to, they're not supposed to be taken literally. Then why'd you write the book literally? Ugh. That's just one of the things that I really don't like about it, about classic religions. Oh, okay. Well, I think I, I, I am more on, like, the spiritual side of it, Alpha, more than just the scientific side. But, yeah, I mean, that's just, that's pretty much the genesis for what I think, too. If you had 30K, what would you do with it? Just curious. Um, I'd do something boring, like invest it into a house, probably. Start real estate, investing, get my own place, um, which is what I'm trying to do now. But uh, just I still haven't started the process of taxes. I got to see how, how hard I'm going to get hit with that. But that is the next step. That's where I'm looking at now. So, yeah, boring answer. Um, I just invest it in, in property. I actually haven't heard of it. Okay. Yeah, I was just wondering because, yeah, it takes place in Austin, Texas, and apparently it's the biggest pun competition ever. <laughs> oh, okay, Sarah. Whew! My teeth feel fuzzy. Ugh. Okay, yeah, uh, if you're on YouTube and you're still here, I just want to say, hey, nice job, you know, I've watched a lot of long-form content, and 
it's hard, man. It's hard watching all of it. You know, you start end up doing other things because it's just too long. I get it. But if you're still watching, if you're still like listening to me and, and hearing me, hey, thanks for hanging in there. And I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, like I said, this is usually how my stream goes. A lot of talking to the chat. Um, this is kind of light in all honesty because uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to do this stuff. But man, are these skulls taking a long time? But that's why we're grinding. Um, yeah, and if you're in the chat too, well, welcome. And if you're new, welcome. Uh, you know, hopefully you guys stick around. We do a lot of other stuff. There's the skull. I'm going to pimp out my stream a little bit. We do a lot of other stuff on here. I know, I know, I know everybody in their mother's streams, you know. So it's like, well, what sets you apart? I don't know, man. You know, a lot, a lot of the things that I do turn off people. Um, which is fine with me. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm very honest, very blunt. I just say whatever's on my mind. And it sounds like I'm... Is this where we came from? I think so, yeah. And then we can exit through here. Yes. Um, I'm not just, I'm not saying that to make my sound, myself sound good. I'm telling you, like, legitimately, I think that the fact that I'm so blunt and honest and willing to talk about whatever turns off a lot of people. And uh, I think I think I, more than other people, have a big uh, turnover rate on, on stream. And, hey, it could just be, be because I'm a shitty streamer. I don't think so. I think I do a decent job. But I'm not like, uh, you know, if, if you're into people that are just, you know, like real, real goddamn people, then you'll like my stream. Because I do attract those types of people. For instance, Zerker, who's new to the stream, um, like he, he and I, he's a bit more, he's a bit way, he's way more blunt than I ever am about shit. But we say, we share similar, similar mentalities. So if you like that kind of shit you like the stream, and if you don't like watch it, you're honestly missing out. I think that people that don't watch it are missing out, and I can say that legitimately. I, I think, I'm not just saying that because it's my stream. I think legitimately this is a really good stream. Um, I have a lot of fun doing it, and I think it's just just better than a lot of other streams. Not to, not anybody specifically, I'm just saying a lot of people just start playing a game and think that it's easy, I'll just talk over it, I'll be excitable, but whatever. It's harder than that, man. It's harder to get people to stick with you because you gotta, you gotta either be unique, we gotta be endearing, whatever. So I think we got a good stream going on here. And if you are watching this, a lot of people, you know, we've met and uh, have stuck around. So you're more than welcome. Just, just want to pimp that out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna answer this, this chat here, and then we're gonna jump right back into it. Hopefully, we'll at least finish this skull. I think we've got one or two more. Hopefully, just one more. Law of the Bible has been proven by science and historical research. Look it up. You're never going to get me on the Bible side, man. You're just not. Um, you're just not. I'm not religious at all. And <laughs> I, I, the only reason I'm not fully letting loose is because I don't want to turn people that are religious. But let's just agree to disagree. You're never going to get me on the side of religion ever, ever, ever. As long as I live. Never going to happen. What I would, It would get back at you if a person goes around wronging too many people. And there would be a point where it kind of overflows and you can't escape it. I think a good example... Is Harvey Weinstein? Yes, yes, yes. I can't believe it took that long, though, but perfect example. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, some of the big paragraphs I just, like, read real fast and then respond, but... Yes! Perfect example is Harvey Weinstein. Exactly. So much bad karma eventually just, boom, exploded. I say feel free to believe anything you would, but I think one should adapt their beliefs to conform to current scientific data, not dismiss it. Yes, totally agree. You do more than a decent job. Well, thank you, Av. I'm trying to be more humble, goddamn, in this current day and age. But, no, there's definitely things I can still improve. But I think where the stream is now, I think it's a pretty gosh darn solid stream. Especially the people that are in the chat, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, Scarlet. Well, that's what it is, too. And that's another reason why I think I have a large turnover rate. Is because some people, they want to watch the game. And I talk way too much. And I talk to the chat way too much. But that's how it's always been. That's how it's always going to be. Thank you, Arctic. Do you believe religion is brainwash? Well, I set this up as just talking about whatever, so fuck it. Yeah, I think from this moment on... Um, okay, I'll answer that question. Do you believe religion is brainwash? I'll answer that. But while we're answering that, let's go ahead and get some other shit done. Oh, God, this is a big-ass skull. Holy shit. All right, this is the last one, and it's big. So we will finish the skulls here. Sanctum of Rotten Den. Okay. Let's take a look at where this is. Alright, so... Okay, I need to remember the question. Do I believe religion is brainwash? 
I was wondering if I should answer it or not. Like, I, I'm good with talking about whatever, but some of the things, it's just like, you know, why, are you, why would you talk about that unless you literally want to turn people away? At this point, I don't give a fuck, though. You know, because really what it is... Where is this place? It's near Zedelian. I'm having a hard time recognizing that, uh... What the fuck is this? I'm having a hard time, like, recognizing... Okay, I see... V okay, it's somewhere around here. Okay, here's Zedelian, and then Rotten Den is... Right about here. Okay, so give me one second, guys. I want to talk about this as we're heading over here. And I need to know what our destination is. Uh, we're looking for the Sanctum once we get into the Rotten Den, the Sanctum. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think from here moving forward, I think I'm going to go kind of back to what I was doing before with the streams and with the YouTube channel. Not that I really changed, but a little bit more. Because it, it's... I like it. It feels good for me. Ah, what the heck? Get away from me. Um, just to really talk about whatever, like my true beliefs, right? Be completely, totally honest. Um, and the people that get offended and just leave... I don't want them here anyways, man. Like, again, my whole thing is keep an open mind. If, if you can't even... Look... If you can't even listen to something without it getting offended it, when somebody's not trying to just be, like, harsh about it. Like, I'm legitimately trying to actually talk about things in a respectful manner. And if you get angry at that and turn away from that, you're a closed-minded individual. And you probably are going to live an unhappy life, just FYI. Just saying. Anyways, do I believe religion is, um, we're looking for the sanctum, by the way. Uh, there's a purpose here. I know. Do I believe religion is, is brainwash? Yes and no. There's parts of it that are. There's parts of it that are not. But, you know, it's it's no secret that a lot of people think that religion was created or at least utilized in a large part of history to control people. And if you argue that, nothing to do with your, if you're religious or you're not. You're just flat out wrong. Of course it is used to... Uh, fucking look up what indulgences are, right? Uh, is that what it was called? Ugh indulgences i think it was look up what indulgences were man oh my god like shit like that exists the spanish inquisition so much bad shit holy wars oh god yeah no it was totally yeah without a doubt there are aspects of course that are brainwashed and anybody that is a rational adult will come to that conclusion they just will it absolutely yeah has aspects now there are aspects that are not there are, there are religion Religion, I don't know if it started that way. I don't know if it evolved to that. But there are there is religion in this current day and age that exists solely just to benefit people's lives. And it does just benefit people's lives. And so it's evolved into something that can operate by itself without those influences. And if you are religious in that respect, or if you're a part of a religion that is has evolved to that point or anything like that, then good. And you should continue because it probably makes your life better. And that's good. But yes, religion absolutely has brainwashing aspects, without a doubt. And I know it to be like I know it to be so true. Like it's 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 like a complete self-evident truth in me that I, I would argue it without like I'm a hundred percent sure. Like literally a hundred hundred percent seriously, and I don't I don't think anybody that would argue that is is rational. I don't think that they've got a full like rationale in their head if they if they are going to argue against that. Because first of all, think about how big the blanket is cast, right? It, it's gonna exist no matter what. Even if it's one percent, it's gonna exist somewhere. So Yep. That's my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, we need to find the Sanctum first, and this place looks to be really big. Let's take a look at the map real quick and see if we can't find a door. That oh my god. Okay, so that's encampment. Looks like we're doing pretty good, though. Uh, we want to continue, like, somewhere around here. We're looking for Sanctum. I don't know if we're going to have to go through the encampment first and foremost. Who's there? Oh, man, this place looks super huge. Oh, there? That's probably why that paragraph is so big, because this place is just ginormous. I think we want to fall into the ravine, maybe. And then, uh, go from there, basically. I th hardly thought it'd be going full... I'd be going full neckbeard in your chat, of all places. Well, what do you mean? Uh, are, are you saying that you are right now, or are you saying that other people are? Because I think, from what I've seen, anyway, I mean, everybody's been having a pretty good discussion. I don't know, I don't know. I, I think I'm misreading your comment, by the way. 
But, yeah, like I said, I mean, as long as we're all adults, we can talk about whatever. And it's all good. A lot of really bad shit happened solely because people said this Sky Daddy. Well, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to say it like that. I mean, again, yeah, yeah, it did, sure. But a lot of good stuff happened, too, which... Far too many, like you're saying, neckbeards focus on just the negative. But religion has had positive influences, too. It absolutely has. And, yeah. But if you say that religion hasn't had really significant... That's where I came from. Really significant negative impact, impacts, you're just flat out wrong. You're just flat out wrong. It's nothing to do with my religious beliefs or my political beliefs or anything like that. It's just my fucking beliefs as a human being. You're just flat out wrong. This is a good one to go on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> this is a good. This would make a good podcast episode. In all honesty, we're almost done with the skulls, guys. I mean, I don't think I've ta I don't think I've tarried too much in this in this stream. So usually I would. Usually, in the in the olden days, I would just be like, "Yeah, fuck it, we're just gonna talk the rest of the stream." But no, we're actually doing a lot of stuff. Uh, we're pretty far. I don't want to say exactly where, just to like spoil stuff. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to look at the chat, but I also don't know if the chat's in complete disarray or is in, um, you know, people are doing a good job at talking it out and having a good time. So hopefully that's the case. Yeah. Get this far on YouTube. Yeah, I don't, you'd be surprised. I mean, I listen to a lot of long form content, um, that I shouldn't have even listened to. I listen to a lot of review bra make streams, which by the way, can we talk about, can we talk about review bra? Since we're since, since we're getting it all out there in the open, dude. I have nothing against review bra personally. What I do have against this may just be, okay, hold on. Where are we going? I, we might have to go into that encampment thing because I feel like I'm coming up to dead ends all over the place. I think I dropped down. I went backwards though. So let's drop down here. <sighs> And go forwards a little bit. Maybe this will lead us somewhere else. Ooh, 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 ooh. This might be exactly what we want, please. Precipice. Shit. Okay, let's take a look at the map. I feel like we've... Yeah, okay. All right. So, we could have gone to Encampment 2. I have a feeling Precipice is the right place to go. So, I'm going to go through here. Yeah, this is the longest one. So, yeah. Yeah. But, to be honest with you, Shagnik, I do think that religion has more of a negative impact on the world as a whole. Um, and again, I'm being humble, because I really do. Like, I, re I really do think it has had way more of a negative impact than, than a positive one um, on society, on the world as a whole. And again, it's just something that I absolutely believe, right? I think it's something that if you look at all the facts, if you st if you step back, if you take, if you could literally just divide your mind into not being emotional about it or not being biased about it in any way, shape, or form, I think most people would say that yeah, it has had more of a negative impact than oh my god than a positive one. Yeah, and I know it's not a. I think that would be the majority of people's. Opinions, because as I as I said before too, um, I think religion is phasing out, and I think more and more people are, you know, being less religious and just, you know, religion I think is is going away, um, and that's nothing against it. Oh my, this this lady fucked me up. Hold on, that burden thing completely messed me up. Jesus Christ! Speaking of religion, ah! Oh my god, what did she affect me with? This is like the worst spell of all time. Okay, come on. Oh, god damn, this thing lasts forever. I know we can use like a dispel thing, by the way. I know. She did it again. Holy crap, I need to kill you with a bow. Dude. What is this lady? Do this is the worst enemy I've ever came across. Oh my god. Please tell me I have a dispel. What the fuck? Dude, I'm gonna die here because literally I can't move. I can't even get away from there. Yeah, I am getting tired because you keep burdening me. My God. All right. We need to kill this lady like now. 
Ugh, I didn't place that. Oh my god. Hot keys, man. Always hot keys. So used to playing Oblivion on controller, too. Alright, I need to... Don't you dare hit me with that again! Holy crap! That was like the boss fight of all... <laughs> that was awful. Awful. Hmm. That's like one of those rare NPCs in this game that... If you don't have the right thing for it, man, they'll just mess you up. Mess you up. Oh, I don't have anything again. I don't have anything personally against Review Bra. I just... As a YouTuber, and again, like a lot of people could think that this is just sort of like a butthurt YouTuber comment. And maybe, you know, maybe it is. And I'll be honest about that. But uh, it's not. Like, I, I, I consciously, I don't think that it is. But I just hate that some YouTubers get a free ride. And like, you know, like, I, I, not to say that I've... You know, there's the Sanctum, by the way. Not to say that I work harder than Review Bra or anything like that. He he probably, in all honesty, works way harder than I do. Um, not really, though, because he makes unedited videos. Anyways, I did, like he got a free ride and he just became this meme. And, like, you know, everybody loves him. And the meme is to love him. The meme is that he's God and he the voice of God has spoken. Whatever. He could literally, you know, make any video that he wants now. And he'll just get... He could talk about, like, how I take a shit in the morning. When I wake up, I take a big smelly shit. And, you know, sometimes the shit smells good. Sometimes it doesn't, to be honest. You know, sometimes the shit just... Huh, it doesn't smell that, that bad. Sometimes it does smell bad. You know, he could just ramble about shitting for 15 minutes. And, like, he's gonna get 500,000 views. Because he's a living meme. And because he literally got a free ride to success. And now he... He talks about demonet de demonetization, so I don't know if he actually... The thing is in here, by the way, so I'm looking for it. I don't know if he um, actually is making any money, but if he is, which I imagine he has to, even if he is getting demonetized, there's ways, you know, around it. There's ways to get around it. So even if that's the case, he's making so much goddamn money just because he has, like, meme status. And it's like... Fuck, man. Like, what the hell? Uh, it's awful, dude. And the other thing is... And, and, and that's one thing. That is one thing. If, like, um... You know, he has a meme status because... He, and part of the meme status is that he's weird. Because he is weird. He, he's a weirdo. Not in a bad way. Uh, weirdo is kind of a harsh word to use. Not in a bad way. Um, what I mean is that he, he's odd. And that's a part of the reason people like it. Like him. Uh, you know, he wears suits, he listens to 50s shortwave radio, whatever the fuck. Yeah, he, he's into weird shit, and that's part of the meme. And a good thing about him is part of the meme is that he's a nice guy. You can tell he's a nice, genuine, good guy. And I think that, you know, he probably has put in so much karma in the world that he deserves what, what he has. But, fuck, dude, it's like... Ugh, some some channels literally get born at a meme status, and they don't have to do anything. They're just like, they get a free... They get like a Willy Wonka golden ticket... And that's what he's got. So that's what I think, by the way. And I saw a video entitled "How to." You know, I saw a video entitled "Entitled Stop Pretending to Like Review Bra." And um, it was actually kind of a tongue-in-cheek video, and he wasn't actually against Review Bra. But I clicked it, and I was like, "Yeah, stop pretending to li like." If you're gonna like the channel, that's one thing, okay? Oh. So, but. Don't make, like, a meme that you like the channel, and the whole meme is that it, the channel... Uh, it's like, oh, God. I hate it, man. You could never have a human society without SKME. Some form of religion emerging. History proves that there hasn't been a civilization without religion. The idea of God seen... Yeah, but that's why there is evolution. Um, I think that we're evolving past that now. I mean, especially... And I think what it is is the advent of the internet. Um, okay, let me read what Jet said real quick. Because I need to, uh, I need to, uh, yeah, we need to do this because we also got to go back. When entering the sanctum, there are two floors with holes to rub through. Did that for the quickest route. Drop down the easternmost hole, second drop. Look around for a hollowed amber limb where you drop. The skull may take a while to find. What? Okay, hold on. Let me just pull this up. Holy crap, this is so big. <sighs> Oh my god. Okay, the precipice. Head down the tunnel and avoid the fire. What's that? 
Okay, enter the sanctum. Jump down the holes, heading east as you do, and fight the shambles waiting for you at the bottom. Follow the path to the northeastern room. Find the root bridge to the south and avoid all eight spike traps. Okay, so we're looking for the northeastern room and then a root bridge to the south. Northeastern room, root bridge to the south. Thank you guys for following tonight, by the way. It's all good, Jet. It's all good. <coughs> God, I want to talk about all this stuff so much. This is really like what the podcast was made for. Northeastern room. So like directly behind me, but there was nothing over there, was there? We came from there. Uh, yeah, Shagnick. Yeah, I, you said that there's no, you know, there's been no society so far. Is it this? Can't be this. It's in this area. Why would it say, but it said northeastern. This is northeastern. Hmm. Do we have to go through? I'm just going to explore the rest of this place because uh, it said it said it's in the Sanctum, which is where we are now. If we go to another section, I don't think that that's going to be what we want to do. And yeah, to answer what you were talking about, Shagadink, yeah, you're right. There has always existed religion, but I feel like the internet... Oh, okay, we're going the right way now. I feel like the internet um, kind of just amalgamates everybody and amal amalgamates the thought processes and speeds up human thought. You know what I mean? So much so that... You can't kind of like religion can thrive, in my opinion, in isolated seek in, in isolated areas where like you just don't. <sighs> this is sounding anti-religion, and it's not. It's just trust me, it's not. It's just what I really think. There it is. We got the skull. Okay, we got the final skull, and now we just got to get out of here. Um, I think now with religion, I think that now everybody's communicating. You know, language barriers aren't such a thing. People are traveling all over the place and talking with each other. It's a completely different time. I don't think you can compare now to back then when religion thrived and like in every major society where religion thrived, it's just not the same time. It's just not the same situation, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, I just don't know if this is... Yeah, the podcast can be longer. I just don't whoa. know if this is something people are interested in hearing, you know, because again, a lot of it's opinionated and a lot of it to be honest, people just don't want to hear. People just don't... People are set, you know, and they don't... There's a, there's only a couple of things in my life that are kind of like this to me where I just, like, I don't want to talk about it. And it sounds comical, but math is one of them. I don't want to talk about math. It's largely due to things that I'm ignorant in. I suck at math, so I don't want to talk about it. I suck at uh, politics. I don't know much about politics, so I don't like talking about it. Even though I will, because mainly due to because people... Always make it a point like, oh, don't ever talk about it. And then to me, it's like, well, then I'm going to fucking talk about it, you know. Um, but I don't like talking about things that I'm ignorant in. And, yeah, it's like math, uh, math, cars, politics. The only reason that the only reason we bring up politics frequently on the, the Twitch is because um, there's a personal aspect to it where, like, it's like I, I know how politicians make me feel and I know whether or not I like them. And that's why I bring it up, but. Yeah. It is fascinating. Yeah, that's why I like talking about it. I mean, it's a fascinating topic. Uh, just like what we were talking about before with Caligula, you know, I it's, it's fascinating and it's deep to talk about. Which, again, is part of the reason why I think I have some turnover rate on my, on my Twitch channels. Because people come here to watch video games. They don't want to get into a whole discussion about... Um, religion and everything like that you know it's too deep for them to talk about uh, not too deep for them to talk about but just too deep for a stream you know what i mean Your presence here will not be am i going i know i'm going the wrong way but i figured there might be a dude these people are awful they're using like paralyzing and burdening spells on me holy shit like we never have to deal with this garbage i guess we're just leveling up maybe it was like literally after we return to all right this place is awful, man. This place is so big. Um, it looks like I did make the right choice, though, because we are near kind of an exit, I think. Your presence here will not be What's your favorite flavor of Tide Pod? I like the Green Mountain Blast flavor. I think it gives you the best of both worlds. You know what I mean? Okay, we just need to find our way over this red spot. Man, I did not think it was going to take us three hours to do the Skull Quest. 
And we, I mean, we weren't dawdling that much. There is always a level of dawdling on my streams, but... Dude, this quest is so long. <laughs> so, so, so long. Okay, hopefully we can get over here. Yeah. Right, I don't think we came from this way. Oh, yeah, anyways, but yeah, what I was talking about with not wanting to hear things, I don't like hearing about medical stuff, surgery, things like that. I hate, I hate anything to do with medical, dentistry, surgery. It's silly, I know, but it's like, I, I hate it. It, I, it, it's awful, man. I, I hate talking about that stuff, and I will not talk about it. It's like, but it's not, see, it's not like a personal issue. It, it's not something that, like, I'm not stifling conversation, because there's nobody that has deep thoughts about dentistry, you know what I mean? Okay, we did it. Holy shit. My nose is starting to itch, by the way. Now, where's the Hill of Suicides? And there it is. Of course. It wouldn't be that easy, would it? Okay, who wants to die? What are you doing out here, man? I'm gonna kill you. Now, please be it. Whew. An argument no one is wrong unless they can't entertain the opposing idea. That is a quote I think everyone should live by because if you are unwilling to change at all, then why even argue? That's a great quote. Yeah. It's a great quote. And exactly what I believe. Vonachan thing a thing again? What, from the Doki Doki stream? How did you make it a thing again? I believe that most religions are just trying to make sense of the world with no way to answer certain questions. Yeah, back... That's what I believe too, but I believe now it's evolved to just... It's gotten so big that people just roll with it now. and It's just it's a part of life. Not that they're making a decision to just roll with it. Obviously, it's more thought out than that. But, I mean, I think, uh, yeah, I, I think that's how it started. Oh, my God. Just let me fast travel, man. I'm done with this. I want to just end this. Okay. I think that's how it started. And I think it's become, become such a mainstay of society and humanity that, you know, people, it, you grow up with it. It's very hard to grow up out of ideals that you grew up with, you know? And I never grew up with religion, which is why I'm not religious. If, if I was, re if I was, if I did grow up in an area of religion, then perhaps I would be arguing religion right now. But I wasn't. <sighs> yeah, no one knows. Nobody knows, but everything I've said tonight are truths that I feel. It's like my truth. It's what I truly feel. You know what I mean? I feel it so much that I can argue it very well in my opinion. And I think as far as I saw, there's only one person in the chat that was like, Oh, Bible, Bible, Bible. And it was just, it kind of, I don't know if this is how you actually were, but it kind of came off just like, no, no, no. La, 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 la. The Bible has been proven by scientific fact. There was only one person that seemed to be of that nature. Everybody else seems to be pretty open-minded, so... Good for you guys, and I'm not shitting on that person. If you are that person, I'm sorry. I, just, I don't. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just saying that was the only comment I saw. Everybody else seems to be having a nice discussion, which is exactly what I want. So, a plus everybody. I can only wait to see the YouTube comments, though, especially if you made it this far. <laughs> Whew, this has been a doozy, but I like it. Fuck it. Look, if this turns people away, fuck those people. I want people that are not going to be turned away from. You know, it goes back. I'm not like I'm not like I'm a fucking philosopher or anything, but it goes back to that shit. It's like la 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 la. No no no, you cannot philosophize. No 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 no. Kill him. Kill him. No la 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 la. It goes back to that. You don't want to be that guy, man. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Now, we have to turn in all the skulls to everybody. Oh. Wow. Okay. So I forget what you actually get from this, but it looks like we get at least like a temporary. Man, I wish you could fucking tell what this stuff is easier. If anybody knows in the chat, please let me know, because it's hard to find out, like, where, you know, what they did. I don't even know what it's called, because he just, you know, put it on me. If anybody knows, yeah, please, please let me know in the chat what this actually does. I mean, we could look it up, too, I suppose. It's not even here, as far as I saw. Okay, that's one. Salonia Vidia. So they're each giving me, like, an enchantment of sorts, it looks like. But it looks temporary, which is awful. Okay, Medesi. Where are you going? I got your skull. And there's one more person, I believe. This quest is super annoying, man. <laughs> I think that's it. There's five, right? One, two, three, four, five. There was a faint, different noise there. 
that should be it. There's no way. I, I don't remember what we get from this, but there's no way we don't get, like, anything. Oh, God, that would be awful. We still had to do it, because we still had 100%. <gasps> don't make me go to my safe space. Again, I always wonder if Ratters is here, because, like, he's the number one person that's super religious in the stream that I really respect. So, <laughs> every time, I'm like, I wonder what Rat. I've said this before, but every time, I'm like, I wonder what Ratters is thinking when I talk about this. <laughs> I think he was talking about me. I don't think so. Your name doesn't sound familiar. I, I thought it was like a dark orange name. But there's a lot of dark orange names here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes I read half comments. Not because I'm mean to, just because I accidentally do. Spirit, spirit blessing? You passed it on the list? Oh, I did? Okay. Well, okay. Oh. Oh, okay, you did say that. Okay, okay. Yeah, like I said. Well, but there's a lot that hasn't. I mean, you can say that about anything, though. You can say that anything's been, you know, parts of it have been proven. But what the fuck is the point if, like, not all of it is proven? And I understand you can't prove all of some. Like, you, nothing can be totally unequivocally proven, right? But still, how, how much of it is unproven as opposed to proven? Come on, man. Come on. Okay, 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 hold on. Don't tell me just yet. I wanted to see. Oh, well, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, we got it. Okay, so let's... Apparently, I got a spell called Risen Flesh, um, which I guess is a greater power. Yeah. Reanimate for 60 seconds on touch. Oh, that's right. I remember that. Yeah, okay, that is what we get. Reanimate for 60 seconds on touch. Basically, we can kill something, and then once a day, we can reanimate it to fight for, fight for us for an hour. Which, I don't know how good it is. I mean, aren't there staffs of zombies and stuff? That seem, seems like it's not that good. Could be wrong, though. It could be really amazing. I don't know. Don't use magic. Don't use magic. Although, it is a, it's a greater power, so obviously we can use it. Uh, we did it, guys. We got all the skills. We did it. I didn't expect it to take the whole stream. Fuck. I wanted to get more done, but... Yeah, that was tough. The Museum of Oddities, hopefully... Oh, never mind. It's probably going to be the same shit, because <laughs> we're just finding stuff. Uh, in the same areas. Okay, let's see. Each time you find a skull, you can return it to the ghost of its former owner. You can do this individually or wait until you have all five. Return to the Hill of Suicides. Approach the ghost and attempt to talk to him or her. If you have the correct skull, be removed from your inventory. The ghost will thank you for fortifying your fatigue. The ghost will thank you by fortifying your fatigue by 100 points for 1,200 seconds. And then the tormented soul will vanish. After the last one, you will receive a greater power called Risen Flesh, which reanimates a dead body on touch for 60 seconds. Okay. That's what we get. That is what we get. Um, to be honest, quite lackluster, I think. Because, again, aren't there... Uh, or am I thinking of Skyrim? But aren't there, like, zombie spells and everything where you can... You know... I don't know. Could be wrong. We, no, I mean, honestly, if, even if I wasn't talking, uh, it would have taken me... Uh, maybe I could have done it a bit faster, I suppose, but... Honestly, I don't think the talking was really that much of an impetus for us um, getting this done. Yeah, I think it would have taken me around the same time. Yeah. Seem worth it? No. I remember the last time, too. I was like, this is not worth it at all. Well, we got about 15 more minutes left in the stream, ladies and gents. By the way, bring on the YouTube comments too. I'm not. I'm not afraid of you. You know, a lot of, a lot of people on YouTube talk about YouTube comments like they're so awful and blah blah blah. I feel like if you were were born and raised without significant like mental issues, I feel like your YouTube comments are fine. I understand death threats are a different thing, that sort of thing, or you know those those take it a little too far. But I've never looked at a YouTube comment and being like, oh, oh, oh my God. No, so bring them on, but there is a rule, you know, you got to be respectful, you know, you got to be respectful. If you come out just saying, you're such a fucking retard, blah, 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 you're God. I don't, I don't even, I don't respond to people like that. I just, you're just, you're just God, you're God. But if you want, if you have any differing opinions, feel free, man, feel free, feel free to write them. You can say anything you want. I don't police comments unless when they're just blatantly insulting. If you're just insulting, fuck out of here, man. You're not even adding anything, you know? I don't, I don't, I never insulted anyone tonight. I never just flat out said, you're so stupid. Fuck it. How could people think that? What, what idiots? Uh, no. Okay. So we have a little bit of time left. We might be able to get like one, mu uh, oddity for the museum. <sighs> what do we got? Oh, fuck. There's one in the night. 
Okay, let's see. Is there anything that's easy? Oh my god, we should have been looking at these because there's... Yeah, there's some... Uh, okay, so there's random... Lo okay, so how the Museum of Oddities works is there's random locations and there's set locations for all the different things. Now, the random ones are Dagger of Friendship, Houndstooth Key, Mixing Bowl, Ring of Disrobing, <laughs> Sheagorath Shaped Amber, Soul Tomato, and Two-Headed Septum. So... Uh, I wonder if that one guy's here because he was saying, uh, Sir H. Moore was saying that, you know, there's a place where you could like, does anybody know, does anybody know what that, gr I, I guess if not, we'll just talk for the remainder of the stream because that's usually how I close out the stream anyways. But um, if anybody knows what that grinding method was, please repost it and then I'll, I'll be doing it for the rest of the stream. Yeah, lots of people, I'm not going to name names, but I, I follow certain YouTubers that always constantly talk about, like, how bad their comments are and blah, blah, blah. And again, it's just they're focusing on the negative. They'll never get over it because they just give them too much power. And I'm just always like, come on, man. I'm not even a big YouTuber. And I, I know the number one rule, don't ever, like, so easy, so easy for me to just, someone's just insulting, you know, calls me names or being an asshole or whatever. Gone. I don't it's so easy for me not to respond to them and just cut them out. Now they can be kind of, you know, harsh with their criticism. That's fine, man. That's fine. I don't care, but if they're just flat out insulting, that's the only time. Fucking my nose is so itchy. Yeah, and come to the stream, YouTube scrubs. Think you missed the soul tomato? Did I really? Oh shit, did I actually loot a container and there was a soul tomato in there? That's not good. Um, well, either way, thank you, ZSCK. See, I attract a very specific set of people. <laughs> I, 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 it's hard for I, I think it's hard for certain people to like the style that I bring to this. But if they do, they're here for life. So that's good. Um, fucking my nose, man. It's just so bad. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, so either way, even if somebody does post how we can, um grind out the some of the museum of oddity stuff i think we'll close out the youtube here the, UQ, the youtube portion a big old vagina would be like yeah that's too controversial i don't want to upload that to youtube it might it might hurt the future of my youtube career nah nah I want you guys to know who i really am what my beliefs really are and all of these beliefs that i've stated tonight are actually Beliefs that I've just thought about, like, uh, for, you know, throughout my whole life. N not all of them, obviously, but, you know, I've ruminated on them quite a bit. And I think they're pretty solid. Now, you could disagree. Some people in the chat disagree. Obviously, that's just the nature of human beings. But I'm not ashamed. Uh, I know this is stuff that you don't usually bring up on YouTube videos. Um, but I don't care. I don't care. I really think you guys should know who I am. I, I, I believe in complete honesty and transparency. So... It is what it is. If you're never going to watch me again because of my thoughts here. It's, uh... I feel sorry for you more than anything. I understand... Uh, I don't know. Some of you. Because I know some people are going to turn away just out of, like, hatred and, like... Ugh! How could you think those things? But other people are just kind of like, well, I don't really want to, you know... I, I just... It's just not my beliefs. I don't want to be around people. So, I don't know. Either way, either way. I'm not ashamed. I'm going to upload this whole video to YouTube as part of the Oblivion Let's Play, which means a lot of people are going to see it. And, you know, maybe a lot of people are not going to watch the whole thing through because it's going to be very long. And we're just grinding out the skull thing the whole time. But there are going to be some people. And it is what it is. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, yeah, we'll just continue. The next episode will continue as normal. Um, I could have uploaded this in separate parts, but... It's, it's all the same thing. You know, some people could just click off after the, you know, the first quest part. So it's up to you. Either way, thank you all so much for watching on YouTube. And I hope you enjoyed it. You enjoyed this video. Darth Vesh says bye and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye. I don't have like a sign off. We'll see ya. See ya. See you later, alligators. Fucking nose. Ugh. Whew. Okay.